We touched on a couple of interesting things there, uh, accidentally. We touched on something that started on the show and became well-known the worldwide. Mm. We touched on the concept of a good deal. Yep. I wonder if what I'm about to pitch to you guys could be both of those things mm -hmm. again for the show. So I'm a little bit of a think over the break and I thought, we love our listeners, right? Like mm -hmm. the, the people that listen to this podcast are a wonderful bunch. Love them. We get to meet a lot of people in the street when we are handing out dollars, trinkets or bows. Yes. But Can I stress the bow is only if you don't have a dollar on me. I've been, yeah, people yeah. have said to me, come on, give us a bow, I don't want a dollar. I'm like, no, no, no. <laughs> no, no, no. Dollar first. Yep. If you've got a dollar, you're out of the bow. Um, people know that now. Yeah. What else, I was thinking, can we give our listeners? Mm -hmm. what, can, what value can we give listeners of this show to go, hey, as well as being part of the show and, you know, you, you listen to the show, yep. what, how, how else can you gain value? And I'll be honest, I was listening to a few other podcasts over the break. Sometimes other podcasts, they kind of offer their listeners like a deal, a code word, right? Oh, okay. You know, you can get a little something yep. for listening to the show. Normally now, it's sponsored though. Oh, yeah, we all know that. Yeah, yeah. The, the, Normally by Squarespace. They seem to sponsor every single ferocious, podcast in the world. Ferocious, yeah, ferocious. Yeah. Forward slash insert name of show. Yeah. Now, here's the kicker though. Hmm. That's fine for those podcasts, but they're only giving you a deal at one spot. Yep. I would like to introduce, with your backing, uh, the Hamish and Andy podcast loyalty card. Okay. It gets you 10% off everywhere. Everywhere? Everywhere. Every shop, everywhere. It's going to be a tough one for us to coordinate. No, here's how we do it. Mm. We just expect, I would say we launch this with an expectation that every business and every shop worldwide honour the deal. Because <laughs> you're thinking from the other end. You're thinking of contacting everyone going, will you be part of our scheme? Yeah. I'm thinking from the other end. I'm going, no, it's assumed. It's expected. It's actually expected. Let's. It's expected of every store that you honour the deal. Now, yeah. if you don't, that's on you because we expect you to. I now, let's officially say, I'm officially saying right now, hmm. we expect you to honour the loyalty card. Now, there's can, going to be a form at our website. I think we fill, people fill out the form. Yep. Can we'll I laminate can, them? We will send them out to you. There might okay. be a small postage fee. Can but I? When you get the card, yep. you then go to a shop and you say, here's my loyalty card. Yes. Here's my discount card. And <laughs> Jack, <laughs> is that your coffee fit, Jack? Are you okay, mate? <laughs> Sorry, there was, we were a little bit distracted because Jack... Jack left the room. Jack, the first time ever, <laughs> we're mid-chat, has left the room. And I know it's important, but he had a coughing fit. I passed trying, him a water. Yeah, he's, he's trying, trying to do the, the right background. thing. You okay? I'm okay. You okay? Coconut <laughs> in my coconut. Why don't you be honest? <laughs> You're blown away by the loyalty card idea. And I think you might have swallowed at the moment where you realised mm. how much value this would add for a listener of the show. Sorry, Ham. I didn't mean to, <coughs> beg your pardon, oh God, he's interrupt, I didn't mean Mate, to interrupt. Trust me, it I got awesome. so emotional too when I thought of it, <laughs> realising what we could do for our listeners. Mate, you had a perfectly natural reaction. Can I suggest one beg thing? Beg your pardon. Yeah. I think it should be 5% off. Fair as fair. Not to take, not to take 5% straight off our listeners, but I just feel like now that the stores hear this part yep. and it's something for them to argue where if the store says no, like, hey, well, it was meant to be 10 it's just five now. I like that. You know, it the, gives actually the, the customer the, the, something <laughs> to argue to go. You're the, you're the one, Andy. Yeah, yeah. You're lucky, Andy's in your corner. <laughs> yeah, exactly. He saved you half the discount. The show loves the stores just as much as the they love. Yeah, the we're people. giving five percent back to the store <laughs> as a thank you. <laughs> <laughs> as a thank you for honouring the card. Yeah, now that's if, a great now, idea. If the store wants to go, no, no we'll do the full ten. <laughs> That's on them. That's on them. <laughs> Here's what the card should say. This card entitles you to 10% off every store worldwide. Yeah. Then in brackets, 10% divvied up, 5% for the customer, 5% for the store. <laughs> yeah. You split yeah. the discount yeah. evenly. Yes. You split the commission. And it'll have this on the card so you can explain this to stores about mm -hmm. how it works. So they're getting five, you're getting five. That's a great idea. Everyone's yeah. winning. <laughs> store's winning. Store's getting five. They're winning. You're getting five. <laughs> <laughs> really great deal. And now, boom, like that. Hmm. You're a listener on the Hamish Danny Show. All you do, go to the website. We'll yep. make this easy. We'll make the form easy to fill out. Yep. We'll get you your card. We'll send it out. Yep. Go and use it. Go out and use it in the world because now world will spread through shops. Yep. This is what is expected of you if someone comes in with one of these cards. Yep. If someone doesn't honour hmm. the Hamish and Andy loyalty card, hmm. 
do let us know. Let's, We'd set, be up interested. Web, let's set up a website of stores that will the honor blacklist. Yeah. and won't honor. And won't. And, and they, so I'm not think, saying it's a, it's a blacklist. No, it's, but it's, I, think I think we're think sort of too, going... That's interesting. Why wouldn't you want a such a good deal? <laughs> yeah, and we might call them. We might call them and we'll get to the bottom of, of it. I yeah. don't think there will be many that reject it. I doubt it. I think everyone's going to get on board, especially now that we have such a generous commission structure, 5% yes. for you, 5% <laughs> yes. for the store. Oh, this, this is the show Play the, the stores g- love. Play- <laughs> Oh, your cards, right? <laughs> yeah. the, the stores will start figuring out, the, you know, the more we sell, suddenly, you you know, you're getting all your money yeah. back for the discount. But on this website, you'll be able to look and see the stores that are honouring as I, well. I think we put on the card, yeah. it's the card the stores love. <laughs> So yeah. when you're using it, you can show them clearly yeah, it's, how it works <laughs> and why stores love the card. Great. Wouldn't it be nice, Sam, rather than just, I know and maybe this is where the costs are going to be terrible for us, but I don't want just a little bit of A4 paper laminated. This is going to be a really good card. It'd be nice I to have I wanted it initially, actual... I'm in talks at the moment, I, I'd love it to be a step above laminated. Yeah, well, a, a card card. Like a you know, health insurance card. Yeah. You know, yeah. Not not stamped like Medicare no. or a credit card. That no, is no. hard, but printed on a card. Yeah, that should is, that Should, should be that be possible? And hopefully... Hamish Andy Podcast, loyalty card. Yep. Brackets. It's the card the stores love. And if there's Commission, a ca- ten percent off everything, five percent to you, five percent to the store. And if there's a company that does those cards, hmm. I wonder whether we could get the five percent off. Well, we can't because we don't have the, the card. card yeah. But we'd put the order in. Yeah. Then they'd deliver it. We do a thirty day invoice. Yeah. We go back to pay the invoice. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's got the card. All right, Ando. Mm. Let's talk. Yep. Hamish and Andy loyalty cards. Yes. These babies are booming. If uh, <laughs> listen to the podcast last week, yep. well done. Thank you. It's mm. great to be back. Thank you for all your messages. Yes. Uh, it's, it's, it's hit. It's hit <laughs> enough, people want to say, Vando. It is. In these times. I mean, not even uh, taking the financial situation out of the equation, mm. people always want to save, yes. right? And look, the loyalty cards come along at a great time. <laughs> But huge I mean, time for the economy. Huge time for the economy. Yep. This, this, this is probably what's going to stimulate the economy. <laughs> Can't take all the credit if this does, in fact, get things back up and running. Mm-hmm. Um, but we'll certainly take um, take a huge slice of the pie. Yeah. Or we'll take ten percent. We'll give five percent back exactly to the people who actually take. need the. the <laughs> this is exactly how much we'll take. So here's the here's the situation, mm-hmm. Ando. Over three thousand people mm-hmm. have applied for their loyalty card. Mm-hmm. We are. We're taking names. And businesses have come out already. Businesses have come out. So almost, I mean, can I, can I throw one out there? The first one I saw, David Pickett said, effective of the 12th of March. I liked how. how yeah. Uh, don't try coming in. Yeah. Don't try backdating all your Christmas purchases. My business, Digital Smart Solutions, accepts the Hamish Nanny loyalty card. Not sure what they do, but. Um, what was his name? David Pickett. Smart smart move from you, Dave. Well, he just made 5%. And he's a smart... He's looking after himself. Digital smart solutions. I mean, it's it, very smart. Actually, it's digital start solutions. <laughs> just gave a huge amount of business, digital, digital smart solutions. So I hope your direct competitor, David, is... I hope people didn't pause the podcast there and rush to the store because they wouldn't have heard the correction. Digital start solutions. Um, look, and a... A web designer. Is what, yeah. Oh, great. Great. Well, how, I mean, so many people just hmm. basically come in like... I'm just randomly picking one here. Yeah. Seb. Seb Santana for New South Wales. Thank you for negotiating this deal, guys. <laughs> and we really appreciate that too because we're like, yeah, it's it's obviously it's a win for the customers. It's a win for the stores. It's the card the stores love. Yep. But the, yeah, like I, I do feel like it's a great deal. We've got everyone and I feel, and I appreciate the thanks, Seb. So he's, he's gone, can't wait to use it at the Asian Grocer down the road. Yep. You'll have a ball. They'll know exactly what you're talking about. Lisa here said straight off to Louis Vuitton. I'm pretty sure that they, I'm pretty sure they'll honour it. Brian <laughs> Brian Swain from Ireland. Yeah. Now, normally, you know, he might uh, someone from Ireland might be listening to an Australian podcast, yep. going, "Oh, is this going to transfer to my?" Yeah, no, I, I feel a, a bit different. Country. It's like when you listen to American podcasts and you go, yeah. well, "They don't really get what you're talking about." I, I, I didn't watch the Super Tuesday primary or whatever, <laughs> yeah, yeah. and you feel a bit like you, you just go a bit. You feel a bit sad, mm. but that's the Hamish and podcast. We're a global podcast, yeah, Andrew. Totally. Brian Swain. Thanks, Hamish Nanny. Never really had an excuse to buy a jet ski until now. <laughs> <laughs> and so you, can, you know that Brian's going to be, he's going to be ripping out of Belfast oh, docks. Yeah, fast. Fast. <laughs> uh, because I'm pretty sure where they built the Titanic is now a jet ski dealership. Yep. And so he'll go down there. Yep. He'll get 5% off. The store gets 5%. Yep. Everyone's laughing. <laughs> he'll probably get a free hat. And <laughs> have Brian's out of there. And hopefully. It's accepted worldwide. A flotation device to put on your keys. 
Oh yeah, of course. Yeah, a little, a little. little that's yeah, a, yeah. Uh, Jordan Shane. Yep. Uh, hi boys. My mum works at a tobacco company. I think I might be able to get her to honour uh, the ten percent off five for this. <laughs> Uh, save Andy some cash for. Okay, I shouldn't have read that one out for chain smoking. Um, <laughs> <laughs> He's a great one. Ben Sutton, New Zealand. Ahoy, boys. Aussie expat living in New Zealand. Keen for some deals. You'll, you'll, you'll be getting them, all right, mate, yeah. when you get the card. Coffee's really expensive here. $5 for a large. Ooh. So I'm keen to get that down to a sweet four seventy five. <laughs> that's over $50 of savings per year if I have a coffee a day. Yeah. That's true, Ben, and that's for you. But what you've got to remember is that's Make also sure. 50 bucks for the store. Tell them that. <laughs> you tell them that they're also getting the kickback. That's the beauty of the card. Dallin Christensen here, Ham, from Utah yeah. in the USA. Looking to buy a truck once I graduate university. Would love 5% off, and of course I'll pass on the other 5 to whoever wants it. So he's <laughs> playing different car st- uh, stores off each other, which I quite like. <laughs> that is really good. Um, uh, uh, here we go. Uh, Gilbert. Gilbert from uh, WA. Hmm. This card's a game changer. I'm a spender. But I'm married to a saver. Ooh. Um, that's a, the 5 to 10 discount. It's going to do wonders for a marriage. He can buy whatever he wants. Because <laughs> the more you buy, the more you save. So with 3,000 people already yeah. up for a loyalty card here, and would you agree that we haven't had a single store say they won't honour it? I haven't yet. heard of any yet. <laughs> now, <laughs> that's we, incredible. we are going to be building, we talked, we talked about this during the, the week, we are going to be building a list mm. of stores that are honouring it. Yeah. Is Jezza here? Yeah, Jezza, yeah, uh, WebGeezer's web, web always here. WebGeezer, web when do we think we'll get the website up and running to that shows which what stores are getting... Oh, tomorrow. <laughs> okay. Gee, that's very cool. <laughs> Mate, five, 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 5% off for that <laughs> and 5% to you. Okay, okay. Well, that's good. That's uh, very good. Now, we, um, we wanted to build a list of stores that are honouring it mm. and not stores that aren't honouring it because there's kind of no such thing because as we clearly state on the back of the card, yeah. this is... 5% to 10% off, 5 to you, 5 to the store, globally, yep. accepted everywhere. So it doesn't really make sense to have any stores that aren't on it because... Every store is. Every store is automatically. That's the genius of this card. Yep. That, it starts off with every store honouring it. But I remember us saying... Some- well, we can have a list of stores that we thought maybe having teething problems. That's right. That's what it was. So <laughs> if, 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 if you go to the Range Rover dealership yeah. and they look at it and they go, okay, yeah. not familiar with this, you go, right, right. you should be because it is accepted at your store, <laughs> but uh, I acknowledge you're having teething, teething problems. problems. So we'll have a teething problem section on the website. <laughs> because, I mean, um, when you roll something out globally, yes. uh, it, of course there are going to be teething problems. <laughs> yeah. Like, I mean, look at the difficulty mm. people are even having you know, wondering if the Olympics will go ahead. Yep. That's just a teething problem. problem. That's yep. uh, that's and that that's have a lot of people working on it. We're just two guys here, and Jez, who's yep. doing the website. So <laughs> by tomorrow, <laughs> to globally get everyone on board, we knew week one we wouldn't we wouldn't have every no. store in the world. We expect most. We we're educating everybody at the moment. It's still an education phase. So if you do encounter teething problems, mm. let us know. We will sort that out yes. as well. That is what we're here for. <laughs> uh, hey, to button this up just for this week. Do you want me to look into logistics of the cards? Sure. Shouldn't be a problem. <laughs> well, <laughs> and make sure when you get the price, yeah. Yeah. show them the card. Well, I'll, well, I was thinking maybe I'll get them to, to, in, during the quoting phase to send out a test card for us. And then you can flash it back at them. Yeah, flash it back at them. <laughs> That's a smart move. You just saved yourself 10%, 5%, 5 5, five, five them. Them. Hey, quick one before we roll on. Mm. Uh, someone might have found a small loophole. I don't think they have. Tom. Love this, boys. First stop, the bank. Hundred dollar withdrawals for ninety bucks. No. <laughs> <laughs> I, d- don't think I that. don't think that works. No. It's a great thought. Yeah. Um, oh no. Because the bank, you get actually it's ninety five. Yeah. The bank gets it's five. five back. Yeah. But you're not actually buying a hundred bucks off the bank. No. You're just getting your money yeah. back. Yeah. So it'll probably work for fees. It'll probably work for your interest rates yes. on your mortgage. Yeah. You can flash that to get. Five percent less of that rate. Of that rate, yeah. I would assume. Yep. But you can't no. just get straight <laughs> cash advances, and it's probably not worth it for you either. Because for your for your hundred, you only get ninety five dollars yeah, of your own money. Feels like the bank's getting that, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. So watch yourself there, Tommy. <laughs> I think it might get you. It might actually get Tom to write an essay to show us that he understands how to use the card <laughs> before we can release it. Could be too much power for him. Yeah. Because <laughs> he was always just shot himself in the foot. I am loyalty card update. Uh, over 5,000 last time smart. I checked. Yeah. Really people smart. Wanting it's booming. To, yep. Um, 
like Joe Bickers. I'm just going to read. Oh, yeah, go for it. I love it. I love it. We sat all night just reading people's applications <laughs> for Lordy cards. Looking forward to employee of the month for me with all the money I'm going to be making yeah. for my business. Yeah. Uh, oh, he's a business. Well, no. So for for the business he works for. Yeah. Uh, obviously, them getting the five percent back. Yeah. He expects his boss to be delighted. Jeez, you come with, in. You turn in your um, cost sheet to your boss, and it's down a big five. Yeah. And he goes, "How you? How are you doing this?" <laughs> Would he get this card in the company name or in his personal name? Because oh, no, he's a, he's on behalf of the the business. He's saying he's just representing them. But well, you know how it's that thing with like frequent flyer points. Oh, where you're like, saying. is it a company card or is it a personal well, card? He's, Did he's you t- get a corp? Would we do Ham Shanty corporate? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> the black card. <laughs> I wonder whether there's a frequent flyer available that would want to team up with our card. Yeah, for down the track. For down the track. Because I've got some bad news on the logistics front. I doubt it. <laughs> <laughs> so what What were you hoping we'd be able to land a oh, car? Deliver the, get deliver. the cards made so up I've, for. I've, I've got the cards right. looking great. We need to discuss the graphics and the copy. But just as far as the card, I think the card will be I've personally seen, I, named. I, Everyone will have their yeah. own number. Jez showed me a mock-up of the card. Yeah, yeah. Looks great. Yeah. Um, but whatever it takes is basically the budget here, I think. I think to get what deals would you, in. The, what, what do you think would be reasonable? Whatever then? it takes. But where, where where would you hope it lands? Throw a number at me and add a dollar, <laughs> okay. because that's what it takes. Whatever it takes, okay, e- to get our listeners mm-hmm. the deals they deserve yep. globally, worldwide, with the st- card the stores love. Mm-hmm. I don't think you put a price on that. We, they, they have. They, a couple of companies have. What, and, and what is that price? Three dollars ten per card. Three bucks a card. <laughs> oh, Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> the hey, bucks card. Yeah. So at the moment we've got over five thousand people. That's fifteen grand. I hear that. Uh that we're up for. Isn't it and crazy though within the could, first, with the first the card, saving? If we flash the card back at them, obviously we save seven hundred and fifty dollars. But isn't it crazy that for people for three dollars so cheap. So cheap. Well people's first deal they get, they will probably make more than three dollars. No, but are you suggesting people have to pay for it? No. I'm just saying we're shouting them. Yeah, I know, but these cards are on that. These cards are on us. Can we put our cap on how many loyalty cards we give out? Because I just need to know for our (laughs) because this comes from our joint account. Yeah, which I've never had a problem with. No, I know. know. Money in, money out. (laughs) The world keeps spinning, baby. The account (laughs) she rise, she fall. Yeah, but thank you. Tip of the money in, (laughs) I take of the money out. Like the, tides, I do keep a, like the tides, soothing like the tides as the money ebbs and flows. <laughs> Thankfully, I do keep a slightly closer eye. Yes, the moon. We, we, <laughs> the moon always trying to affect the tides, the money moon. <laughs> but Pulling for, the tides for good back. reason, it allows, Let those tides out. it allows us to continue to do this stuff. Isn't that fun? Yeah. Uh, I so say... Here's a couple of suggestions I have. Yep. Now, again, you can kibosh any of these. Yep. Would we have the card sponsored Mm. By a company. I think that's dirty. It doesn't come... Their, their, their logo is not on our card, mm. but we add another card in there that says the loyalty card is brought to you by... So you're sending people out two cards. Two cards. One is just a card that says... And one's a little mini billboard. Yep. Yeah. Feels dirty. <laughs> it does feel a bit dirty, <laughs> okay. doesn't it? It feels like, take, it feels like, it feels like corporate yes. interest. Yes. Because, like, let's say Macca sponsors it. Yep. Which they probably would, but yeah. they'd be mad not to. Mm. Um, it, you know, Monopoly would be a little shitty yeah. because then they would become the second <laughs> biggest thing of the year. Yes. But Matt, that's Matt, that's not our problem. Yeah. You deal with it, McDonald's. But you can. But don't you think then, if someone goes to use it at KFC, they mm. feel a bit guilty? Well, that's up to them, maybe. But again, it just you seems wouldn't see like it on the card. Se- it's, yeah. it's like it's you just separate, know that it's thanks to Matt. It's a separate leaflet. What's your other ideas? Um, capping the amount of loyalty cards we can have. So, yeah. like, um, say if we go cap it at, what do you think we might get to? 10, 15, 20, yep. thousand cap it, people? Cap it at 10. Cap it at 10. I suppose in that sense, then, it is it is a win. It's a collectible. I suppose yep. it rewards the people that are up, most up to date on the podcast. Yeah, but it's not really. And it rewards us. But it's not really rewarding, rewarding loyalty. Like, pe- some people may have been with us for ages and are not quite get around to filling in the details. What about this? Hmm. Cap it at 10. A further one thousand, <laughs> if you. But it will be difficult to get yes. that that next one thousand. So here's the other thing for the so super that, loyal people that that's are to, slow. That's to send. That's to send it out direct to everybody on postage. Yeah, the postage. That's the problem. Well, the postage costs more. Upstairs. 
Well, put it on Julie's desk. Well, that's what I asked. I asked. I said to we, it, Sarah. That, that, yeah, put I it, said, take it up to the old radio station. I said station. we could get that's the magic that desk. And, I put and stuff on that desk. Intern, it just goes. Use some intern here yeah. to use the radio station because we yeah. record. Maybe some. maybe the intern. You know, sometimes interns. Oh, I, don't, I you know I hate to generalise. Mm. Sometimes they come from wealthier families because they've got just time yeah. to go and do work experience, and they've got some connection. Maybe to maybe 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 mum they've mum and dad credit card. What do you mean? They'd like to shout us. <laughs> <laughs> shout us so we can shout the people. So, okay, well, shall I look? But do you really, do you realise that 15,000 bits of mail going out, we're yeah. going to get caught. Julie's not, Julie's going to. Yeah. We could yeah. Shawshank it yeah. like five at a time. Five at a time. That's thousands of days. Yes. Right. So we've got two big issues here, yeah. cost and mailing. Yeah. My wife's got a warehouse. <laughs> But I can't. It that be, catch us. The, other, the envelopes got priced in at like 20 cents an envelope. No, but they're shipping go-to out all, every eight minutes. Yeah, right. 15,000 would raise. That's suspicious. Well, though. Yeah, 15,000 flat envelopes because they send out skincare, bulky goods. You know what? The cost at the moment per card is for a, they quote it on a thousand cards. Idiots. We're obviously going to have. So let me go back. And, Sharpen the pencil. <laughs> let me go back and have a. Have a little chat. Who's the that, company? Don't say their name because no, that, we could use that. They maybe they they become the heroes. I'll come back to you with that. That's a great idea. Maybe Australian Cards Express or whatever become <laughs> the heroes. <laughs> if that could have been their competitor. Quickly buy that domain name. <laughs> <laughs> like we'll wear that. What about we wear their hats? What for? How long? Two shows. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Their hats for two shows. That's huge for them. Yeah. They might not even have a hat. Would we make a hat up for them? Uh, sure. Yeah, we can do that. Okay. What about on this hat spot? I feel more comfortable wearing the hat than sending something out with the card. Yeah, I feel, I agree. Why don't you sniff around with the hat offer? Okay. And see if anyone bites for the hat deal? Why don't I start with their company, the card company? You start with them. And if they aren't interested in the hat You might hit a brick wall. They might not have a progressive marketing department. Yes. But then have a sniff around. I'll wear anyone's hat for two weeks if it bankrolls the cards. Great. That's that's how you do business, mate. (laughs) Home loyalty card update. Fantastic, Ando. Where are the Where are they at? Well, the numbers are the numbers are rocketing, and it doesn't surprise me. People love a deal. Yes, and uh, nearing twelve thousand submissions <laughs> for a loyalty card. Right. It. You know where we are at to a certain degree because I called you during the week to update you on costs. Yeah. Which have been significant, Jack. Sure. And I just say, um, and and my and I think my exact words were, "Let them fly." Yes. They were. Because, <laughs> what, what are them? The money. The costs. Yes. The cost, um, like, because I just think, of this, especially at this time, yep. what what could be greater than going to, rushing to your mailbox? Now, I know it's not going to be this week, yep. but very soon, going to your mailbox, opening it up, boom, yep. there's your personalized Hamish and Andy loyalty card. Yes. And, you know, your ability to go to stores. And, you know, a lot of stores are still open yep. around, and you get 5%, they get 5%. It's the ultimate to the card the stores loves. I, we did get a, a deal. We did from our – these are the for, people that are printing the cards. But I'm not going to say their name yet. Mm. I thought we were saying their name. We will. Didn't I agree but, to wear a hat? Yeah, yeah, you will wear a hat. <laughs> they don't have – they'd prefer not to – Well, they, they've opted out of the hat like, deal. <laughs> <laughs> That's an interesting but move. They, they don't have a hat. We could make one up for them. They said they, they <laughs> wrote back to me. It's every been a funny negotiation, a but they've gone, sorry, thanks very much for agreeing or suggesting that you can both wear hats, but just mentioning our name might be better. <laughs> <laughs> so they, they, so did I, they take the hat off or is me just casually wearing the hat around the streets I, as a very, very low-impact billboard? Yeah, I think they didn't. I think they thought that we were just going to wear one of their hats. They said they don't have a hat, but I also thought maybe it wouldn't get the type of recognition right, yeah. required. For I can see deal. through that prism how the hat deal would seem terrible for them because but we didn't mention it's much like your golf bag behind me. It, we didn't mention that, hey, you know, once something's in the golf sim, it gets a lot of eyeballs on it and people want to know about it. So I was comfy with this, but it's it, at the moment it's still an outlay of money, which I've it is. paid 50% for we or have. a deposit. We have. Yes, Just yes. Just because you have access to the bank account, doesn't mean it's all your money. <laughs> which we have. Yep. But, um, but I didn't want to give the name yet until we're happy with the quality of the card. Oh. I know this is... We're holding back. Well, for their own good and ours... Right. But if we get them 
and we're they're not described. It's a plastic card, isn't it? I, I don't. Yeah, I don't suspect there'll be any issues whatsoever. But I feel. For so the, I think a lot of people, when we mentioned this, thought it would be of the quality of when you get your go karting license when you're little and it's cardboard laminated. No, 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 no. This no, no, is no. this is a plastic like card. private health insurance yes. kind of card. Yeah, level. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Um, and it'll have your individual name and number. Wow. Put on it. Wow. So um, we will mention and photo. Pardon? People's photos on no, it? No, no. But photo. you're welcome to stick your <laughs> own Our photos. Our, a photo of us is on it. Yes. But you are welcome to put your own photo on it. Hot, if you want. You can hot your card up. Yeah. You can, uh, yeah but we encourage anyone hotting their own cards up. Get your, get your Sharpies Obviously, out. Obviously, it's the lordy card that the stores love. Yes, it is. Um, you get 10% off, but you immediately give 5% of that 10% back yep. to the store immediately. We, well, Ando, people are, uh, we, we made the letter up that mm. we'll send out to people when they get the cards. When will the cards be out? Uh Two weeks. Two weeks. Would you, would you like me to read the letter? Yes. That we, we're going to before, put in the before we get to the letter, I just thought thank you for every all the stores coming in that are honouring the card. If you yeah. if you are a store out there, I sale in the wet Sundays. If you want a new sale for your yacht, Jeez. there you go. You can get you can get your. So Andy's giving his mates a shout out. <laughs> <laughs> Isis Motel in Scone. Oh, jeez, they need help. <laughs> they, they, I mean, obviously, Motel's tough at the moment, but they're going to give no, the... No, uh, for the Isis. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it? Yeah, I've never thought of that. Well, they Maybe that's been... Is that, has that been written on the website correctly? I think it'd be right. Yeah, I mean, so, I mean, before the terrorist organisation, I mean, so, people did have the name Isis. It's just a bad bounce. Golden Plains Diggers... Great. Um, I'm just I'm guys. just going through, and uh, there, so these are all the companies that have yes, uh, Rich, uh, Richie's Jewelers. Wow. They've they've submitted and said yes, they are accepting the cards. You can go there, uh, Aussie Bricks. If you need a brick, yes, I do. <laughs> you go <laughs> oh, probably, <laughs> My papers keep flying yeah, away. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Rebels and Rainbows. Don't know what the store does, but um, love it. But you'll certainly get your kickback there. Stores that are having teething problems. Yeah, this is a this is a way because. Every store is on board, and yeah. that's why that's the beauty of the card. But we do yeah. understand mm. word travel. You know, Coles. word travels. Oh, Coles. <laughs> Coles. That's a biggie. Uh, <laughs> that, what you, Aldi might not be all stores. <laughs> might not be all Coles yeah. and Aldis. I, I um, would like to see people have gone to these stores and tried it, and and they right. didn't know what was going on. So I think obviously, so much on going on at the moment with disinfectant. Upper management it hasn't filtered down. That's what the problem is, yeah. and also Super Rooster. Has or hasn't? Has, is teething problems. Teething problems. <laughs> Hen's teething problems. <laughs> Which I'm a bit I'm disappointed with. Shocked because, at that. Yeah. That's, that could be a mistake. Yeah. <laughs> I, <laughs> well, I look forward to the day where we're moving them from the right-hand column, as you as you see, hamishnead.com forward slash loyalty, stores having teething problems to the left, stores yeah. that are on the card. Because a lot of the time, you know, even rolling out a new iOS takes time. Exactly. Or a new operating system. If, yeah. if someone goes, oh, we're not doing, you know, oh, we're doing a different kind of chicken salt at yeah. Super Rooster. I assume yeah. that wouldn't happen overnight. Hmm. There's just going to be a little bit of a, um, a lag on that. That'll be fixed. Wh- wine and art in New Zealand. Yes or no? Uh, teething problems. Teething problems. <laughs> teething problems. <laughs> teething problems. <laughs> so, Again, God, I'd love to see the footage of yep. these. More for their sake, yep. the footage of when you go into wine and art, you, yep. you buy four or five cases of um, of the finest Pinot, yep. you buy yourself a Mat- <laughs> Matisse, you hand over the card and go, here you go, 10% off, immediately yes. you get five, I'll take five as well. Yep. Love to see the conversation where they go, I'm not familiar with this. <laughs> <laughs> and you're, you know, you're baffled, they're baffled. Yep. And more like video evidence of that so you can show it to them later when they are familiar with it and they have a laugh at their yep. first day they, they, they when they had teething problems. Bagels and beers is our first Spanish one that is accepting the card. So we know it's, uh, that's great. What, in um, any specific city? Haven't got it listed here, but uh, 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 the Copper Moon Work uh, Coffee House in the US is also taking it on board. So that's really great, really good of them. Um, Lark Journeys in Namibia. I assume yes. Uh, yes, they're fine. Well, I assume everyone. Yeah. I mean, really, that's, 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 that's the thing. This is wonderful to hear these companies have mm. done the right thing, but it's uh, not a surprise. So keep alerting, us, everywhere. keep alerting us to teething problems. Uh, if your store is on any card, put it up there. What I will... I've have been turning to the the boffins for the website. Ham. At the moment, it's just a long, long list, so it's very difficult. So, if you had a hankering to buy something, it's very mm. difficult to see. Where, where, mm. I mean, of course, all stores. Well, just assume yes. Yeah, all stores, but well, that, if, because if that's you, the revolutionary wanted, part about the if card. If you wanted extra surety, I'm looking to try and get a search function put on the website, mm. so you could possibly go. It's, it's kind of crazy, isn't it? Because what we're really doing here is building a list of every store in the world. And yes. which no one's really tried yet with the possible exception of Google. <laughs> yeah. So do we just ask Google for their store list 
and put it all up. Pop them all over into the yes into pile the yes and move them and right then move them right for teething, teething problems, problems if and when they pop up. I so mean, Jez, give Google a buzz this week. <laughs> <laughs> Just ask for. Dear Google, please send over full store list dot doc. Um, and we, <laughs> <laughs> full earth store list dot doc or dot XLS. Yep. And we can import into what would the be easier, back end. Dot doc or dot XLS. Yeah, do you want as a word doc or a spreadsheet? Spreadsheet would be easy. He's requested the spreadsheet. So just, dear Google, please send over the full spreadsheet yep. of all stores in the world. We need it for our back end. Yes. They'll understand that. Well, That's with tech talk. Exactly. Uh, hey, m- in two weeks' time, the first round yeah. uh, of cards, 5,000 have been printed with names. Wow. Um, we have gone through them individually. Uh, so <laughs> some of the names, <laughs> apologies to Sir Dick and Balls. <laughs> sure. <laughs> if, if you are a real person. Else girl said, but, you, getting his card. <laughs> but you're not getting a card. <laughs> Yeah, true. So, Since uh, the cards are cussing so much per card, yeah. have you been going through it with a razor? Yeah, you? <laughs> just, you would. just cleaning <laughs> out. Good. Just going to clean out a few of the yeah. dud names yeah. because obviously uh, we encourage stores to get a secondary point of ID. Yeah, that's true. It won't work without uh, yeah, because with, I don't want you. If if you if say if you get, can't give it to your mum, it's not yeah. transferable. You've it's got to you. She has to register for hers. We'll, we'll need stores to go, listen, Mr. Dick and Balls. Uh, <laughs> could I have a look at that? I'll need to see another form of ID. Here you go. Here's my Dick and Balls S45. Oh, yeah, great. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Sorry about that, Mr. Dick and Balls. I hope you understand that if I'm about to give you yes, it uh, 10% a lot. off on a Sapphire for me to also receive 5% of the price, I'd need to make sure you are Peter Dick and Balls. Uh, and uh, here's the letter that we'll be sending out for people. This is just a bit of an excitement builder. Yes. Uh, for everybody to get it. This could be you opening this letter in the mail. Um, and your card will be alongside this letter. Dear Deal Seeker, congratulations on your successful application for the Hamish and Andy loyalty card. By the very fact you are now holding this precious and more expensive to print than anticipated card. It <laughs> signifies to us you are an extremely loyal listener of the podcast. If there's one thing we wished to reward more than anything else, it's loyalty. They say you can't put a price on loyalty, but guess what? We bloody have. If you're anything like us, you sometimes purchase products and or services. And if you're anything like Jack, you like a good deal. <laughs> We noticed a lot of loyalty cards are specifically for one or at most a few stores. There also seems to be a lot of phone calls and whatnot and red tape to organise those discounts. And quite frankly, we found that to be a weak system, high in admin and one that's robbing you of choice. That's why we've turned the loyalty card game on its head Mm -hmm. by beginning with the assumption that all stores are cool with this card. How do we do that? By giving them a little slice of the action too. (laughs) So here's your deal. When you present this card to any store worldwide, you immediately get 10% off your purchase. Immediately after that, the store gets 5% of the purchase price back to them from you, <laughs> leaving you with 5% overall, a 5% overall discount and them with a tasty 5% kickback. The more you spend, the more you save. The more they get, it's an insane win-win. And that is why everybody's saying it's the card the stores love. Brilliant. Yeah. So well done. please enjoy it with our deepest compliments. As we mentioned, stores should accept this, but it's always nice to acknowledge those who do go to the website. No stores aren't on board yet. We can't make that clear enough. But... If you experience someone that's having teething problems, <laughs> do let us know mm. uh, at the website too. Go forth, enjoy. Thank you for your loyalty. Your pals, Hamish Nan. Great stuff. Thank okay. you so much. Oh, one other thing. I know we've been going long on this. Uh, you know how Wayne's World is on board mm. for the other week? Look what we got in the mail. Wayne's World hats. Wayne's World hats. <laughs> now, there's a store that's got a hat. <laughs> Wayne's World discount variety store. <laughs> you beauty. Well, because our loyalty card guys haven't... Don't want us wearing the hats. Guess who gets hat privileges this week? We can put Wayne's World on They're for awesome. Earth. Thank you. Yeah, they are awesome, Jack. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, um, well, I'll put it on. <laughs> hey, one week away, I'm getting told by the production people that uh, that the loyalty card is one week away. Of course, it's... One week uh, from it being sent out? Yep. Right. And then so maybe another week on from there that people might people receive might, it? might receive them. What are our numbers at? We... Sitting, it's hard to tell, mm. but um, yes, because there's you know, yeah. Ron Dick knows <laughs> we've got the yeah, so it's hard to tell. Real, real people to Ronald <laughs> Nozzer, yeah, if that is in fact your real name. Um, I would say 13,000, 13,500 ish. Wow, um. And, of course, the website's up and running. You can go to hamishnady.com if you want to apply for the loyalty card. Every store in the world accepts it. Yep. Um, specifically these ones, which I noticed come in and they've been added to the website. Uh, Fast Acrylic, Ham, in the uh, USA, that's which awesome. is good. That's really good. Um, Rosie's, Rosie's Coats, 
Um, they're just online. Uh, Eads Extreme Marine. Great. In the in Australia? Yeah, they're in Chuka on the Great. on the border, New South Wales, Victoria. Well, extreme Marine. What do you reckon that is? Well, I'd say it's boats. I mean, along the Murray, but extreme boats. Yeah. So not steamboats, which is um, that would be Eads Steam Marine. <laughs> <laughs> there are a lot of paddle steamers yep. along the Murray, mm. but they are not what anyone would class as an extreme watercraft. <laughs> and Peter Shearer Menswear. In Rundle Mall in Adelaide. Good on you, Peter Shearer. Yep. And so that's go, the thing. See, like, when you're allowed to out of uh, lockdown, uh, go and see the big balls in, in Rundle Mall. Yeah, and uh, then get the big savings. Big, <laughs> <laughs> big balls, big savings. Rundle yeah, Mall, yeah. every store except Hamish and Andy's loyalty card. So it's, it's worldwide and we... It's really worldwide. It, 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 it has changed the game. We are starting from a point of 100% acceptance. Mm. We're accepting no acceptance. Um, do you know what I mean? Like we're not we're not accepting anyone not accepting it. Yes, yeah, so, yeah, 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 exactly. Um, so when someone we're says accepting. we don't accept that, we say back to them, well, we don't accept that. Yes. So and and that we don't accept that answer. And it's a cool kind of standoff that can create because yeah, security can come in, <laughs> <laughs> has been known to come in and settle it. But, but that's just a teething problem, a teething issue. And as we have said on the website, there is a stores. If you have any of these stores that are having teething issues, once let us know. We we know that upper management will definitely sign off on it. Maybe it hasn't trickled down yet, especially in these times when everyone's got all this other stuff to do. Yes. Let us know the teething problem stores. We might even call a few of them in coming weeks mm. and see if we can iron out any of the kinks. Yep. The great thing about the card is, I mean, I, I think I was buying something online at either Kmart or mm-hmm. They'd something. accept it, wouldn't they? Yeah, I think they do mm. because uh, at the end it says it, they've got like a 5%. They're, just, they're chatting about a 5% discount yeah. thing they're doing at the moment and I just looked at it and went, well, well this is, that's ours. I think we know what this is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Real, so it gave me real joy to see because I would have thought the big multinationals might be the last to take it up but great yes. to see the big stores um, the big stores going for it. Yeah, well, we'll see. We'll, we'll reach out to some of the biggest stores as we go. If, if but again, alert us to any stores that may be having teething issues. Hey, it, was it me? Was it just me, or when Bezos was talking the other night about how them distributing a lot of medical goods? Did he say at the end the head, the head of Amazon, head of Jeff Bezos? Yeah. yeah. Did he say at the end of that press conference like we're doing ventilators and like you know we're <clears throat> we're helping out lots and. Was this, did he quickly say, and we're taking the Amish and Andy Lauder card? I or did think they cut so. the feed? I didn't. I can't remember. I, I know it was one of the two. <laughs> I'm going to assume so. Well, now I'm hearing a lot of Bezos and Hamish and Lauder card together. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I will good. remember that as having yeah. happened. I thought, Ando, we have had some people go, my wife being the big one, um, going, I don't understand. What do you mean it's accepted everywhere? And I try and explain it to her. I just, mm. I, I, my girlfriend's having some issues as well. <laughs> it's it's yeah. sort of annoying because yeah. he's like, I don't know how else to explain 100% take up to you, but here's what it means. Yeah. If you are a business, you accept the card. Yeah. And, I mean, my wife runs a business. Yes. Um, she's got go-to, skincare. Yeah. Are they accepting the card? They're getting a lot of inquiries about it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I... Would hope so. And the vibe I'm getting from them is that they're, they're, they're really working hard to integrate it into the back end, and yeah. I appreciate that because I don't want to put them on the teething issues. Yeah, that's that's. that's I don't want to put right. them on the teething problems list. It, it would be a harder algorithm, I'd imagine, for online purchases. To, yeah, you've got to fiddle with the back end. So they've got a little bit of back end work to do. And I, But I said to um, her, I said, look, if, if it's... If it's the time and, and money cost of fiddling with the back end, yep. uh, think of all the fun you'll have with that 5% kickback you're going to be getting yes. from everyone. We should check in with my sister and the roof rack store as well to see whether they're accepting it. I think they some, would be. They, I would you'd expect so. Well, I know they are, but I mean, I hope they're not having any teeth in the Let's. I thought we could do it. Let's do a live test. Great idea. Right. Let's, Jack, I think, have you just found a number of a random business in the just area? Just a random hardware, hardware, hardware store. Hardware store. Oh, great. I will show everyone now, the naysayers. Yes. Um, even those we are married to or going out with. Yeah. That you can just ring places and they know what's up. Great. They know what we're talking about. They're aware of the card. They're accepting the card. Franchise, they understand. Franchise or local, Jack? Uh, just tools. Uh, that sounds like it could be a franchise. Sounds franchy. Yeah. <laughs> if, if they understand that when... I buy something, yeah. I get 10% off, mm-hmm. and then I immediately give 5% okay. from half of that 10%. I yeah. give it straight back to the store. They win, I win. They get it. They it, understand. Why wouldn't a company accept it, the card? It'd be nice if the stores thanked you back, by the way. Like, it's not a one-way thing. They're getting that 5% kickback. You get they 10, get the taste. Yeah, you get 10%, you give them 5 back. So to encouraging stores to thank, say, no, thank you. Yeah. If if you said thanks after a transaction, really encouraging stores <laughs> to say no, thank you, no, thank you, yeah, yeah, and 
<laughs> if you are a store listening or if you are someone that works in the store, of course it's not not our place to tell you what to do and what not to do. No. Um, but I would recommend or I think it would be a nice touch if when someone hands over the loyalty card when they are sent out in a week or two that when you take the loyalty card, you say something along the lines of, gee, this is the card we love. Yes, it's because it's, <laughs> it's, 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 it's the card the stores love. the the stores love. Okay, let's try this at Just Tools. <laughs> Just Tools, is it? Just Tools. Gee, you can't get any timber. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Got any nails? No. Nope. Gotcha. <laughs> I bet you do. <laughs> Good luck, Ham. Just Tools, Ethan speaking. Okay, Ethan, mate. Um, I was just going to check if you guys were open. Yeah, we are, yeah. Oh, great. What time are you guys open until tonight? Five o'clock. Fantastic. Do you have, um, I need three sizes of shifter spanner. What like, do you have, sorry? Do you have shifter spanners? Yeah, we've got shifters. Yep, yep. Awesome. And I need a plunger as well. I thought. Yeah, we've got those here as well. Yep. And fingers crossed that you've got this as well, an angle grinder. Yeah, we got heaps of those, yeah. Awesome, mate. So if I come down the Savo? Yeah, that's all fine, good. Mate, no problems. I'll just, and, you, and there's no, any, any like store protocols or anything like a like uh, not at the minute, no, no. So all good. Just a one I, and a half meter distance, and that's it. But can do that, mate. I'll come in the Savo, and you accept right. payment machine loyalty card too. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yep. correct. Great, yep. thanks, mate. Cheers. <laughs> no, all right, no worries, mate. See you later. Everyone knows what it is. And everyone's accepting it. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> hey, loyalty card update. Let's hear it. How Hi. are we going? Got, we've got some problems. We've got some problems. Do you want? Should we have some positive stuff before some of the? Uh, the when we said we're positive for entree, yeah. How big are the problems? Main course? I think uh, it's a buffet of problems. <laughs> wow, <laughs> so, the only buffet open at the moment. Yeah. <laughs> um, not to say that they're insurmountable. We'll get through no, these. these. Yeah, are just teething um, problems for us. Well, thank you to everybody who is registering their stores. You yeah. go to heymachinery.com. Is it just me? Because I haven't read every single store that has been uh, registered. Mm. I, you know, you scroll through. There's a lot. There's thousands, and you sort of scroll through the list and you click on a few random emails. Is, it, is there a disproportionately high amount of sex shops that you guys have noticed? <laughs> no. Or is that not, just no, the no, one? I haven't, seen, I haven't seen a single one. Haven't you? No. I've seen three. <laughs> really? So I, I just feel like if there's some sort of like online forum amongst, and it's not yeah. necessarily sexy land either. I don't no. know if it's bad. I think it's more like boutique one-off. Okay. Well, that's one, good. They're accepting the stores. Shop. Yeah. They love it. They're like, <laughs> I just feel like they're out in force to go come get your card pleasurable goods um, and at a discount rate and give us 5% back. everybody wins <laughs> yeah. like a generous generous lover this one aim I liked Night Vision Australia is the name of the store great if you want to get yourself some night vision I thought you might like so it. funny you bring that up a couple of weeks ago was my son's birthday <laughs> yeah and great cake, by the way. Appreciate. I that. thought it was one of his best, Jacko. Easily, yeah. By yeah, definition, it looks great. Yeah. So, but here's on the present front, right? Mm. I got a few presents from just a few little ones. Zoe was like, I organised a few things. She's like, I, I found these walkie talkies and night vision goggles. Oh. I said, Oh, honey, what? Did, whoa, whoa, whoa! Let me have a look at that. Yeah. Because this is not your department. No offense, no, you're in charge not. of a lot of stuff. Yeah. But surely walkie talkies and night vision, you've got Absolutely. an expert in the house. <laughs> Yeah. She shows me the walkie talkies. I went, oh, honey, this uh, is Mickey Mouse shit. Yeah. This is this is kid stuff. Yeah, exactly. She's like, well, he's turning six. I went, yeah, yeah, true, but this is these are toys. Yep. Like she's like, yeah, that it's for the six year old. I wish you'd have talked to me because yeah. I can get you much better walkie talkies than this. And, and the night vision goggles. She goes, look at these night vision goggles. I said, oh, this will be good because you. No, again, no offense, but you have no idea what you're doing in this realm. Yeah. Look at it. They're night mission goggles. Oh. <laughs> And I yeah. went, I don't think we give them to him. This is These won't work. Yep. They're a gimmick. Mm. And they, they are a gimmick. They, you put them on to do a mission at night. There's <laughs> zero extra visibility. You know, well, I want well, to give Navy go, SEAL yeah, ones, yeah. which has got the four, <laughs> which <laughs> got the four, four spectrums on them. But well, you, well, you know where to go now. Yeah, uh, can't wait. It's in Alexandria in Sydney, Night Vision I Australia. I promise you they won't you, be selling you Night Mission goggles. And you'll get yourself the uh, the, the discount. Military grade, I hope. As well as Murray River Caravan Hire. Therefore, you can get a discount there as well. Absolutely. Anyway. Go to the caravan park at night, heard a funny noise, Night Vision on. <laughs> I reckon there would be a huge overlap between Night Vision aficionados and caravan owners. Uh, so many great uh, stores coming forth and offering the discount. We thank them. We're going to put them all up at the website. Great. Uh, it's hamishnandy.com forward slash loyalty, I believe. Yep. Uh, Jack, I understand you had some good news. Well, almost. I bought coffee beans for my wife, hmm. 
And then after I left, the guy slipped into my DMs on Instagram and said, just so you know, we do accept the Hamish and <laughs> loyalty card. You could have had the discount. <laughs> Not quite yet because the cards aren't out. Cards aren't out. But, but that's, that's still like good been, news. It's like a, it's a reverse mystery shopper, isn't it? <laughs> a mystery store. <laughs> hey, here's, here's the conundrum for us. Yep. There's so far, to my count, 24,210 people registered. That's loyalty. That's for the card? Yep. And that's uh, taking out the Mr. Dick noses. Yeah, and <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's full removal. Monsieur <laughs> testicles. Yes, yes, all anatomy removed. <laughs> yep. Um, we, this is challenging on the budget for you and I. Not my department. I know, that's why <laughs> I, I said to you, hey, we have got problems here. And yeah. I said, if it gets to ten to 15,000, we're going to have mm. real problems mm. um, with regards to how much money we've got in the joint account. Yeah. Um, now we're at 24000 So because we've sailed past that number, am I to believe we got through the problem patch? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> <laughs> these are money. Which is a relief. <laughs> these are money's owing. You did say ten to 15 would be problems. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so yeah. now we've, we're 10000 past <laughs> the problem yeah, patch. Yeah. Mega problem. We can't, well. I find that confusing. Okay. <laughs> It's it's going to be tens of thousands of dollars costing us. Saved? No. Costed. No. So oh, it's worth a shot. Do do we want to cap it? Right. Now I I had proposed to you some weeks back a cap at 15. And it was pending, wasn't it? It was pending. You said I'll cut you'd come back to me. Yep. You went you bought a, 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 a copper sphere. <laughs> Not yet. Not yet. But Haven't bought the copper sphere yet. <laughs> now you're yet. telling me I might have to buy it today if I want to use the joint account. <laughs> it seems like the, the levy has broken. Yeah. Um, so you got caught up in... in, in I have been distracted. Mm. Look, I've, I understand what you're saying. We obviously can't make infinity cards. Mm. Um, can, we, can I throw this at you? Yeah. I know we don't want to put another sponsor message on the card, and I agree. Yeah. It's not... Because it's, it's, all, it's all, star, all yeah, stores. All stores. But there is a letter that goes out oh, yeah. with the card. Could we have a little billboard on that that is open for sale? Wow. And the billboard on the letter is bought. Yep. And then the letter goes out. And I don't, I, we don't even have to mention the company that, that buys it on the podcast. No, so it's like a direct mailing. It's a direct. It's just a mail out. It's old school. It's bloody old school. But that might be able to just cover the cost. It is very old school, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Cover the costs of the cards and mail service. Because you understand, just even sending. Yes, 25,000 like, yeah, stamps. It's a dollar fifty just to send it, let alone. No, but put it upstairs on Julie's desk. I know we can't put 24,000. <laughs> That's what I've done for 10 years I in this know, building. I know, but 24,000, and she's yeah. not even in at the moment because no one's obviously working. Oh, she won't notice. From the building. 24,000 letters she'll yep. notice. Oh. So can, can I, I don't want to ruin the integrity of the card. I understand. No one's can sponsor the card, but they can sponsor the letter that accompanies the card can on a we, dedicated billboard box. We put another letter in, no. so it's on a separate letter. It's more printing. It's more printing. And Julie more. to do it. Julie doesn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> can it be on the same letter, please? Can it? Can we mention? Can we? What if we just mention the company? We do a PS. So there's no. What it's do you not mean? a billboard. We're not selling like a giant. You know. Yeah, I mean like so, tiny. Yeah, like it's the billboards. There's nothing that says a billboard has to be. Is there? There has to be big. So it's like a banner ad for a letter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if this has been done before, yeah. Jackie. Why what, are you what? so strict on it though? I just I mean, don't I, want to mess with the integrity of the card. Yeah. No, but it's going to be. It's going to be. Everyone will know it's separate. So you have your paragraph of explaining congratulations. You got your card. What and I imagine like, it's a little window down the bottom. That yeah. What about if this letter was brought to you by? That's that's nice. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. we were really right, upfront, letter sponsor. We're really upfront about it. It's the letter sponsor. I think people will be fine with the letter sponsor. Yeah. This, okay. This Sell letter. the letter sponsor. Okay. Now, does that mean we're we're going uncapped or we do cap? Do we cap it at twenty five thousand to go? Because the only reason I'd support a cap is to oh, go... Mate, it's probably already past 25. Uh, okay, uh, yeah. well, whatever you want the cap to be. The only reason I'd support a cap, let's say 30,000 then, mm-hmm. is to go, if you're not in the first 30,000, how loyal are you? Yeah. I mean, is, I don't want to sound like Donald Trump here, but yeah. um, it's a loyalty test to see yeah. if you could register <laughs> within the first 30,000. Or do we yeah. save 100? Because I know people listen to this in delay. Okay, we cap it at 29,900, is that yep. what you're saying? Drive away. <laughs> and... <laughs> We have a hundred left, and if yeah. you apply, then in the next six to twelve months after that, yep. there's a lottery, 
and oh, you could yeah, win like one that. of the last hundred loyalty cards. Yes, that's great. That's that's how we'll go. Okay, good luck. <laughs> good luck, everyone. <laughs> I've got a loyalty card update, gents. Yep. Um, and this is the fir- and we apologise for everyone. This is the first for a while. There's been a few things going on in the background. This is the first yep. update for a little bit. But they're out. No, they're not. Aren't they? No. <laughs> no, they're not. Um, I thought July they're out. I've got bad news. Oh, I've just oh, heard it. I thought you? they were going out last week of June. Yeah, they're not. They're not out. And I've got bad news. Should I have? I mean, Ando, I, yeah. you know. Should I have been down at the factory or something? Should I would have, I have been... loved you to, to, to do some <laughs> logistics, yes. Well, all you've got to do is ask in a special way and say, you know, <laughs> wouldn't, it, would it have killed you, would it have killed you to use the magic words? <laughs> Which is not pleasant, thank you. I have my own special magic words, but if you do say them, I will help. <laughs> um, it's bad news. So Sounds like would it. you like sad music? To accompany the bad Is news? It sad news or bad news? Would you like daunting music to accompany or would you like happy music to counteract <laughs> the bad news or no music? Happy. Happy. Okay, Jay. <laughs> so. <laughs> this doesn't sound so bad. <laughs> it doesn't sound so bad. So we did the first print run. Oh, great. Of 15,000. And... And look, I want to say... And of course, we're printing 29990 drive away. <laughs> after, there's still more people coming in. Too many. Yes. We did. We have said 29990. Yes. Should we, we should actually say that on the 20... If you, got, if you applied on the 21st of uh, May... Yep. You are, you're right on the cusp of getting one or being in the ballot for the next one. So you're telling me the whole last month was surplus applications? I'm pretty sure, yeah. 21st of May... Right. Was when we, we broke the 30,000 seal. Yeah, or the 29,990. 29,990. And then 100, there'll be 100 extra in a ballot. Yep. So, yeah, think about when you're registered. You're late, you're a late adopter anyway because we've been talking oh, about... Oh, it is a loyalty yeah. card. I mean, how loyal were you if yep. you waited for the swarm? Um, Got to thank Plastic Card Printing. Haven't mentioned cannot them yet, fa- but oh, Plastic Card cannot Printing, thank them enough. They're, they're doing a fantastic job, right? Good. Well done for them for getting in on the name early too. Yeah, and they've we've printed 15,000... And on the back of the card, you've seen the proof. There's a QR code. Yeah. Right? The QR code used wasn't actually to our website. <laughs> uh, placeholder QR code? It was just code. a placeholder <laughs> QR code. So we've printed 15,000. Collectible. <laughs> How collectible? Because isn't it true in the stamp world? Mm. Like, you know, if, if, there's a, if there's a mustache on the Queen or something, <laughs> or like something <laughs> yeah. that shouldn't be yeah, there, yeah, that makes it more collectible. It could be. We could. Oh, it could be that. Don't tell me that the first batch of our yeah. loyal listeners get a collectible loyalty could card. Get a collectible card. That's that. I like that, actually, Han. That's nicer. The QR code it sends you to. Yep. So it still sends you to a website, the placeholder. Yep. It sends you to a Google search of hello, the word hello. Right. And and Adele is the first thing that comes up because of, of her famous song. Nice little cross-promotion. So, Jack, lose the, f- the heavy music for a second. Here's where we're at. We've either got a collectible first 15,000. We do. That is very collectible. Or here's what I was thinking. Do we capitalise on this error? Still working on a sponsorship for the letter. Yeah. Do we ring Sony, who have Adele, yeah. new big deal, yeah. and say... We're, we're going to market you. We would love... We've already done it. We'd love 15 we've grand. Done it. We've, already, we've, we've already done it. We're actually yeah. just... Where do we send the invoice? Where do we send an invoice for 15G? Yeah. Uh, actually, well, probably 10. Probably 10 is fair because we're still getting... We can't put the whole cost on them. Oh, I think 10 plus 5 sort of for pain and suffering. <laughs> yeah. And, but just pay- and just see if they'll give us the 10. Who are we calling it Sony? I don't know. Reception. Oh, this is, that's not really where those decisions get made, though, is it? <laughs> well, why do we say, put us through to chief of marketing? Yep. Chief of impulse marketing. Yes. It'd be great if we got, it'd be great if there's someone in the building that is prone to making sort of yes. snappy decisions. Well, let's, let's go. There'll be a lot of people in marketing. Why don't we try and get the person in reception to go, hey, send us through to the fast us, and loose. Yeah, put us, put us through to the person that just, that maybe is looking to get out early today. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and needed. Yeah. We could really be a solution to someone's problem here. Yep. Good afternoon, Sony Music. How can I help you? Yes. yes. Uh, who's speaking? Sarissa. Hello. Hello. It's Hamish and Andy here. Um, we have, we need to be put through to somebody in marketing. or mar- the, the, Can't remember the name of the person, but the purchasing department. 
for marketing? Purchasing department. Well, that's sort of the, the that person in marketing who's always sort Makes of like, you know what, I'm going to buy that. I'm going to put an ad there. Or I'm going to, that sort of strategist perhaps. Would it be more like radio that kind of looks after the marketing side or is you more, actually just marketing in general? Just, just marketing, sort of marketing like Sony. Who markets Sony music? We have all a massive marketing department, but yeah. I can pass on a message for you and get them to give you a call. That'd be great. Is what that if, okay? It, is there a department where if we had an invoice for some marketing that's already been done, mm. where would we send the invoice to get paid for the marketing that's already been done? Ah, I see. Yes. Did you want me to maybe put you through to accounts instead? Yes. Yeah. That this is. is great. And so it wouldn't be an unusual thing. We've done this many times before, but just double checking it's all cool. We yep. go, hey, we've done this marketing. And here's the invoice, and then it's just paid. Yes, exactly. Yeah, so, um, is there sort of like a generally known company kind of limit or threshold above or below which things wouldn't really need a sign off from anyone else, money wise? Oh, I wouldn't be too sure about that, but right. that's something that Shannon would be able to answer for you. Yeah, so, there's not an amount that just automatically goes into the system, no questions asked. Just send the invoice to at sonymusic.com. Fantastic. Thank you. Thank you so much. Really um, appreciate it. Yeah, just send that straight through to him and he'll and I'll just let him know that you guys called as well. Oh, that's awesome. Right. And is, is he getting a lot of these per day, like just invoices shooting through and is he sort of overwhelmed by them? Is he the kind of guy that's just flicking them into the payments pile? Wants to get them out, claim them straight and out pretty quickly. And a bit overwhelmed? No, he's, he's very good, Shannon, so he'll look at oh, straight away. I, doubt, I, I don't doubt it for a second, yeah. but I mean, is he getting... <laughs> Do you get the vibe that he gets uh, so many invoices he's... Look, like, he, do, he did for a while. I haven't had any... Uh, recently to pass on to him, so um, it should be, yeah. Should he should be give fine. it a close look, should he? Well, but <laughs> yeah, okay. yeah, um, there we go. It should be fine, but yeah, I wouldn't know exactly. Okay. No, no, just trying to get an idea of his workload. Or is it, maybe there's a very busy time of the day, like near the end of the day where he's sort of just like he just, play like just a, shuffling him into the processing line. A social sport that he needs to duck out for really quickly at the end of a day and it's a good time to do it off and just well, put he, in a he voice. works with a few other people, so I'm assuming it would be they kind of just... Um, Work it out together. They all do a little, yeah, they all would help each other. So, okay. I mean, it should be fine. Any time of the day, to be honest, it's going to be fine. Great. No, that's good. Right. So okay. Send uh, it on through now. That's awesome. Right. Okay, thanks, thanks. So much. Bye. All right. That's all right. Bye. <sighs> okay. <laughs> it's going to be tricky. I think we just send the email. I think we send it th- this Friday. <laughs> Let's send it on Friday, 4.59, <laughs> and just... T- Hope we get it in and the just pile. Go, I'll just go, hey, Shannon. Yep. As as discussed. Yeah. Because we did just discuss we, it. You and I, as discussed <laughs> as between discussed. Hamish and I. I'll just go, as discussed, here's the invoice for, yeah. from, for um, the, the marketing, <laughs> yeah. for the Adele marketing. Um, yep. ha- have a good weekend, mate. Yep. Appreciate prompt payment on this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, Obviously, there's been a long build-up to this. Oh, not, that, not even that long. <laughs> really? Um, are we talking loyalty cards? Yeah. Oh, I mean, it's zipped past. 2020 has been one of those funny old years where it's just <laughs> everything's going to happen pretty quickly. Obviously, we printed the wrong cards. We tried to get some in, an invoice paid for yeah. for some hindsight marketing that was um, t- from that, Sony. That was bad, a bad, bad decision from us. Questionable decision. <laughs> that was what's known <laughs> as a out. small business decision. Yeah. And you make when you're running a small business like the loyalty cards are, yeah. or yeah. really it's a not not for profit. Yeah, you oh, it's certainly not for profit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. When you're running a small for loss business yes. like we're deliberately for loss, mm. goodwill for loss. Yes. Um, you make snap decisions, <laughs> and that that invoice decision will go down as a snap one. Yeah. And so, as we all know from sports, but it didn't sometimes work. Sometimes snap decisions are excellent, <laughs> yes. and then sometimes they're not. Um, so we needed, we didn't want to sponsor the the card. No way, independent the, always, because the card actually is available at every single store in the entire universe. It can't have a commercial interest, so that would be hard. But we agreed that we needed to have the letter accompanying the card that goes out when the cards go out. Yeah, that seems above board. We need that letter to be sponsored. You can sponsor a letter. Exactly. And um, some heroes come along, Ham. Who is it? It's the Chapel Street. Hope it's not a tractor company. It's the Chapel Street Precinct. That's right. (laughs) That that beautiful shopping Chapel Street Precinct in Melbourne. Oh, 
But of course, as far when as you're allowed to travel see. again. Yes. Oh, yeah. I mean, it, <laughs> come on down, use your card. It ebbs and flows, doesn't it? And that's what makes shopping in Shepherd Street exciting. You wake up every day and you go, is today, yeah. are, we, are we talking, mm. is it a good, well, good day for there, shopping? There's some shopping. Shops already registered down there. I'm sure they'll all get on board. But uh, you love your skating. It was the you, first mover, yeah. <laughs> brick and mortar supply, the skateboard shop. Love them. Yeah, you get, in, you get a new deck with some Nazi bearings. Just got a new deck, so I won't need one for a few seasons. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> a couple of skate seasons. And, yep. then, um, and I tend to make my own bearings. <laughs> in touch with the common man. Uh, hole in the wall coffee. Um, revolver yep. lane. Love that. Um, what are you doing? Stuff. And the thing, I mean, as we all know, 5% to you, 5% to the business. Yep. So there were really two businesses that have stood up and said, Yes, please. Yep. I'd love that 5% as well. Could use it. Yes. <laughs> thanks, Hamish and Andy. Thanks to the customer holding that Hamish and Andy loyalty card. Yep. And we say, no, save you thanks. Thank you. Thank you. That's what the great thing about this card is. <laughs> the card the stores love. So the Chapel Street Precinct, uh, of course, I never that thought means, we'd get a whole precinct. Yeah, a whole precinct has sponsored the letter to then get the cards out. So the cards now are ready to be sent. This is big. The, now, first right, five, it, the first 15,000 collectible, collectible cards will be going out in two weeks' time. That's awesome. Now, it well, has, So you can expect to start... It'll like, be landing in people's hands They're going out time. now. In two weeks' time, you can expect them to be starting to land in your hands. Can I... Um, I mean, we did sort of mention that this has been a bit of a slow hand clap. It has mm. been a long run, run up. Got an email from an alert listener um, and now and loyalty card um, registered listener, mm. Sam, I'll forward this on to Mike, um, but it has been quite a while. Um, he's moved house. <laughs> so <laughs> he said, look, I, he said, I knew I was moving, yeah. but I, I, thought expected, I, I expected the card. the card to be there before I am, but Damn here it. we are all these months later, we still haven't got the cards. Can I update my address? Yeah, he Just can. He could can. be a bit of that happening. Well, I don't, I don't want a bit of that. I don't want to lie. The... Actually, good point. What I meant to say was, it's on you, Sam. Uh, Sam, and and officially for everyone, you set up the forward mail thing. Yeah, so we can't Sam do will do. Will we? Yeah, doesn't that set a bit of a precedent? No, nah, we're going to do Sam. Yeah, we're that's what I'm saying. No, we're going to do Sam. We're going to do no. We're going to do no more. Yep, I've, I know. I've, I know. Foot flopped a bit on this, but I've come down hard on where I want to land. We're absolutely doing you, Sam. You yep. said the right thing. Yep. Well done. But, of course we would. Why wouldn't we? <laughs> we're not assholes. But after that, that we are assholes. <laughs> The biggest. <laughs> the biggest. It's a blanket rule. You're responsible for your own forwarding. I mean, it's already been a nightmare getting these things out. Yes. So it seems like with the, the first 15,000 we sent off to the company, mm-hmm. there was 1,600 duplicates. That's on us. We've, we need to, they've, they've asked us to clean up our act, so we're cleaning up our act a little bit. Because yep, uh, <laughs> it, it's people going. People wanting it and applying not. Applying a few times. Applying a few times. Yep. So and we took out all the Lord Dingle bottoms and stuff <laughs> and all that. Yeah. yeah, they're all gone. Yep. Um, but it, so what? The good news is for those people that didn't get into the original twenty nine nine hundred drive away. Yep. The twenty nine thousand nine hundred. Yep. I would say that if you were on that cutoff date, you're a good chance now because there's sixteen hundred new available spots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the twenty nine nine hundred, if that makes sense. It does. Yeah. <laughs> it's, 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 it's exhausting. It's exhausting. It's bloody it's, exhausting. And that, and you wonder, you go, geez, I mean, is it because we're doing this for every store in the world? Mm. You look at a Boost Juice or a, yep. a Gloria Jeans or somewhere else that has their own loyalty card. Yeah. And you go, do you guys run into this? Yeah. Is this? It's just, yeah. Is this par for the course for loyalty cards or is it because we're changing the game that we've got Definitely because we're game changers. Yep. But um, anyway, keep, uh, obviously, when you get them in your hands, go and try some stores. Go if hard. there's any stores that are having te- teething issues, let us know. No, oh, and we'll, we'll make sure that we put it up at the website. But um, a triumphant day. It I is. can't wait for Look, in three weeks' time, we uh, will hopefully be getting some accounts, yep. some real-life accounts of how it's going. And also, if you're in Western Australia, if you're in New South Wales, I know the Chapel Street Shopping Precinct isn't close to you. It's a very mm. local um, situation. But they're just sponsoring the letter. I understand that. Yeah. But when you see the letter, I think it would be a nice thing to do for the letter sponsor yeah. to pop it on the fridge or something and go, must remember to... Head down. down. <laughs> Get on down to Victoria and check out that precinct. <laughs> Not really nice thing to do. Triumphant week. Uh, obviously in some hard times for some people, but boy, has there been a lot of joy with everyone getting their Hamish Nettie loyalty cards delivered. The lucky 29990, or 29900. 
hundred. Yeah, yeah. no, yeah. twenty nine nine ninety. Oh no, twenty nine nine hundred. You're right. Sorry, <laughs> drive away. Um, you're right. Uh, the first twenty nine thousand nine hundred people to apply for the Hamish Nanny loyalty card, which is it's the card it's the, star, the card the stores love, and yeah. tells you to ten percent off every store worldwide. Just fantastic. Yep. And then obviously five percent. You give straight back to the store, hmm. you keep 5%, everybody wins. Yep. Uh, it's what we need to get the economy back on track. Absolutely. Globally, uh, there have been whispers that the US Federal Reserve is talking to us about rolling this out throughout America. Really? Stimulate their economy. Gee, uh, we, can't we can't comment on that. We, and we can't afford it. We cannot afford we it. We need to see a little bit of costs <laughs> covered. <laughs> costs covered. At the moment, because at the moment, it's, <laughs> it's not the card that the Hamish Nanny bank account has loved. No. But I, you just can't put a price on it. It's certainly the card that Phil, our bookkeeper, hates. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't even know we had one. Must be very nice for us. Uh, and uh, mm. before, we've got it. We've got a couple of, uh, we've got a little bit of a highlights reel here. If we've tried to contact um, some of the people that are, you know, that are aware of the card. Obviously, every store in the world is on board with the card. Yes, we, um, we Some assume. are having teething problems. Yes. Amazon is probably one of the bigger um, websites globally. It is having a few teething, teething problems, problems at the moment. Yep. Had a bit of feedback there. We've been assured they're working on it. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. So yeah. that's always nice to get that kind of a thumbs up from JB. Yep. Um, Jeff Bezos, not... Mm. Uh, Johnny Barker, <laughs> the <laughs> former or centre half forward for Hawthorne. James Brayshaw. Okay, on the rush hour. <laughs> <laughs> but can, before we get to before we get to, um, <laughs> I texted James Brayshaw and went, "Maybe we have in trouble with Amazon." Went, no worries, <laughs> boys. Though. I'll have a, I'll have a look at it. I'll jump on the back end. <laughs> Not a lot of people know that, but he does have the codes for the Amazon back end. <laughs> <laughs> um, before we get yeah. to hearing about some of the stores, I've got two tiny bits of business uh, right. for the rollout, a um, little bit of housekeeping. Justin Schmidt, heartbreaking here. Yeah. He said, finally received your loyalty card. It's great. Super stoked. My house got broken into last night mm. and my wallet was stolen. He goes, one of the first things I thought was, on oh, no, my Hamish and Andy loyalty card. Mm. I know the hards have come to come by and I feel so guilty losing it after being lucky enough to make the cut. I even had the limited edition Adele version. <laughs> Oh, great. <laughs> Feel guilty yeah. asking for a replacement. Yep. I'd be more than happy to pay for one. If, okay. Mm. I'd appreciate it if possible. Otherwise, if this email gets you guys, just know that I am that I loved it while I had it. Yep. Have you both safe. Well, I hope um, you got some bargains while he had it, but unfortunately there won't be a replacement no, it, card. Justin, if you can tell us the number, mm. we'll put out a message to all stores to keep an eye out for that number. <laughs> so when the criminal goes to use it, that's that's, <laughs> that's how we'll track that's, it. That's, that's, that's our offer idea. to you. Yeah. Hey, one other thing, Jez, <laughs> can we get our um, web geezer in? <laughs> Um, when people are applying for loyalty cards, remember we're like, we've got to sniff out these fake names. Yes. Uh, you know, yeah. we can't have too many L. Squirrelsons getting the card. Yeah. Jez, you did an amazing job of sniffing out the names. Mm. I just want to ask how many, you know, were submitted for people wanting a loyalty card coming in under, you know, Cardi McCardface or whatever? Uh, probably about 200. 200, yeah, right. 200. But we got them? Yes. Did we, Jez? Could, could you please, someone to sent me this message when they received their card, could you please read out the name on the card? Into the mic if you could. Uh, big cock lock. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I do, thought that could be legit. Do we, <laughs> well, I'm do not we going to message him back for evidence. Do we know that's not his, do we know for sure that that's not his birth big name? Big cock lock is. Yeah. It's big... The B and the C, it's big cock is one word, <laughs> and the B and the C are capitalised. Yeah, okay. But big cock lock Hughes. Hughes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no. Feel was, Jezza, he, uh, he might have snuck through. I mean, and he sent me this with the message, looks like you didn't sniff them all out. So I do feel like. Yeah, I, I saw a few of my Instagram and Twitter. Wayne Collot uh, was in there for Wayne Collot. Well done. Not his fault. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, anyway, <laughs> just so you know, Jez, a couple snuck through, but mostly good sniffing. Yeah, exactly. That's um, okay. But it still went to the person that I, I can assure you for Wayne. Yeah. Wasn't his real name, but he didn't. It was his real activity. <laughs> <laughs> but he, he said to me he didn't apply for another one on his real name. No, it's of course. just his card. So that's just, okay. It's all right. It's got like a personalized number plate. Yeah. <laughs> um, you've got it now. Well done, um, Big uh, We... <laughs> We said to uh, to Mike here, um, podcast Mike, to say, would you mind just seeing the feel for everyone writing in and perhaps set up a hotline so yeah. people can contact us? We haven't heard these yet, but uh, he's put this together, a hotline for the general vibe as the loyalty card went out across the country. Ahoy, boys. It's Leighton and Alex here from Party on the Green in Perth. 
We hire out portable mini golf for all events. So whether you're a sponsored golfer like Andy or more of a common man like the rest of us, we've got you covered. Like all businesses around the world, we are proud to accept the Hamish and Andy loyalty card. So if you're in the market for some mini golf at your next soiree, give us a call or check out our Instagram, Party on the Green, and flash your loyalty card for a 10% saving. 5% of which we'll happily accept back. <laughs> Cheers. Hey, Hamish and Andy. It's Holly here from Baker's Delight in Kilsa. We are accepting the Hamish and Andy loyalty cards, but unfortunately we're not selling $2 vouchers. So, Jack, if you're looking for a present for mum, you're going to have to look elsewhere. G'day, guys. Christian here from Tona Point Supplies. For all your copier and printer needs, come see me. We accept the HA loyalty card. 10% off, that's five to you and five back to me. Hi, Hamish and Andy. My name's Caitlin Paulus from Paulus Performance. We're a mobile mechanic business and we accept the Hamish and Andy card. 5% for us and 5% for you. Hi, Hamish and Andy. It's Jack from the Gold Coast. Happy birthday, Andy, by the way. Thanks so much for your Lordy card. I went down to my local subway at Pacific Pines and... Uh, the lady on the register seemed a bit confused, but she texted the manager and she cleared it straight away. And I, uh, I took a hefty 5%, but I gave 5% back. So thanks again, fellas. Lovely. Ahoy, Hamish and Andy. This is Eleanor here from Domino's. I'm just calling to let you know that we happily will accept the Hamish and Andy loyalty card. And if you stop by Domino's Aspley in Brisbane, just ask for Ellie and I will look after you. Hey, Hamish and Andy. I uh, just want to give a shout out to Morgan's Group Carpet Cleaning and House Cleaning in Canberra, giving me 5% off my... House clean and five percent back to them. Light disclaimer: Dad would give me one hundred percent off since he owns the business, but the five percent was helpful to go back to me and go back to him a little bit. Cheers, boys. Keep the money flowing. The economy. Look at, look at that money flying around. Suddenly. Suddenly. What's that noise? The rush of money. Exactly. Zooming around the country. If we don't get recognised by the government for this, I yeah. mean, if there's ever no, if a reason to give it... Uh, yeah, not in Australia. Come on. And 5% straight back but, to yeah. you. <laughs> 5% of our order of Australia um, is straight back to the government. Email your experiences, uh, just the contact form. Yep. Um, perhaps we should get uh, Podcast Mike to put another one of those together for future weeks because it's yeah. certainly nice They're to fantastic. see how it's going. Can't, but can't find the email. I read it uh, earlier this morning. Um, didn't keep it, but... Uh, it was lost. It's lost in the mire. But there was a, there's an Italian restaurant in Auckland that is having teething problems. Just to give okay, you the heads so up, if you're in the had... Auckland area, I don't know the uh... name of the exact Italian restaurant, but the waitress was confused by it. Mm. Um, the person that sent this email will be aware, will know who they are here okay. when they hear the story. Okay. Then they didn't see the waitress for the rest of the night. They thought she'd left and gone home. So they tried another person mm. who then got referred to the manager. Seemed like a family-owned business, and the kind of the the matriarch. Mm-hmm. Gave a stern no. No. Okay. A little bit okay. of a TP well, that's, I mean, happening that's, there in Auckland. That's uh, well balanced reporting from you, Ham, mm. because we've just put together a package. It's of just like people know there are teething <laughs> problems out there. <laughs> yeah, no, and I appreciate that. We won't open the Trans Tasman bubble until they're sorted out. <laughs> <laughs> Gee, haven't the loyalty cards been a success, Sam? Uh, It's nice to see them arriving. Canada, Scotland, I noticed. uh, The USA, people are getting the ones uh, internationally. Well, they're global. They're global. The 29,900 that (laughs) that were printed. Drive away. (laughs) And uh, who knows? Uh, We we do, we're still getting a lot of submissions in Mm. that will uh, TBC, I guess, on when we give away the final 100 loyalty cards. But it doesn't take, it doesn't, Take much effort to dig around social media and see people absolutely swamped by the benefits of the card. Yep. Stores posting how much they're enjoying, mm-hmm. the little kickback they're getting. Yep. Of course, it's the store, the, cars, the card the stores love. Yep. And then customers as well also enjoying the 5% on their side of the fence. <laughs> A real beautiful... It's a symbiotic relationship between customers and stores. Simple people are uploading some videos as well, which has been fantastic. Incredible stuff. So guys walked into a Domino's. They accepted it immediately, which is Just, nice, the pizza I mean, chain. Domino's seems to be leading the charge here mm. in terms of the fast food chains. Mm. They've been... We're, we're seeing a lot of positive Domino's reports coming <laughs> in. Low levels of teething issues on Domino's. But having said that, yeah. Macca's as well, yeah. um, you know... Absolutely stepped up to the plate. Saw the frozen Coke one yeah. going in. Absolutely no problems there. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So I'm not singling out Domino's for any sort of way. I'm giving them a little pat on the back, but, but it's not the only pat we're giving. No, no, absolutely. Um, uh, Jacko, you said you wanted to bring something up with us. Well, I opened my loyalty card. I wasn't here last week, so I, I didn't get to mention this, but you guys, uh, everyone gets a unique number at the bottom of their loyalty card. Sure, mm-hmm. that's how we kept track of the 29,990. Mm. You guys are number one and number two. Yep. And so you, good. you just assumed... 
that I would be number three. Mm. And I guess who assumed that? Well, you guys said you 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 actually told me on the the last episode that I was here mm. that you're like, well, you you I already did, have I it. I did assume that you'd be number three, mm. but then I did recall after leaving the show <laughs> what happened there. So I. What number are you? I mean, numbers don't really matter, do they? Because well, no. I'm number six and it's bugging me. Right. That would bug Who's me. Who's number three? Yeah. <laughs> someone more important. I guess someone yeah. more critical to the team. Sarah. <laughs> I think Sarah is number three. <laughs> what? Yeah. <laughs> I just... oh, haven't even taken it off the thing. He, yeah. even, he hasn't I... even unstuck it. Yeah. Such is the disappointment, Jake. You haven't got a single discount with that yet, have you? No, because I don't want to. I, I thought my you number get... three would be coming. No, this <laughs> number three's not coming, mate. <laughs> Oh, you think you're going to swap it out? Sarah's not giving you her Sarah, number three. Sarah's number three. She's locked in. She's not what giving that happened? up at all. Sarah, you called me because yeah. we were with the, with the manufacturers and they said, hey, because we submitted our lists. Yeah. And what do you want to do? And I said to Sarah, oh, make Haim one, me two, just, and and doesn't matter about the rest. Very generous. Right? Now, <laughs> to be honest, what now, happened was I we gave, assumed that we, they we would gave make the manufacturers, <laughs> we gave the manufacturers 10 eps of the show and went, listen, <laughs> listen <laughs> to this. <laughs> And rank the on-air, <laughs> off-air team about the quality you think they bring well, to the Hayden's show. Well, got stuck into me, Jack, about being number one on Instagram, right? Yeah. Mm. And that irked me a bit because... No, uh, I thought that they especially had... Especially now that we know that you've been so generous, Andy, to that give is him used to me. One. I was under so the impression you know what it I was did? the manufacturers listening to the show. <laughs> you know what I did? I got the zero card made up. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, wow. I've, got, I've got. Is that laminated? Andy Lee. No, or you got it in a protective this pocket. Is, this is the actual actual card. I rang the manufacturer. Said, "Hey, mate, send me another one. I want to be zero zero at well, the so bottom." So they started the printer up again. And, and <laughs> well, this is easy. I'm just gonna get my sharpie out and make me minus one, which beats zero. <laughs> so we know that they can fire the machine up again. Oh, that was well, it. that would have been the last time. That was the last time, mate. <laughs> oh, come on! I can't believe and I'm number six. And I corrected the capitals for Andy and Lee. I just thought that would annoy that you. Would, that did, um, but I feel bad a little bit because it's it's unfair that there's another card out here that could go to somewhere else. I'm actually happy to remain as number two. I'm fine with being and, number one because I, I mean, numero uno. That's the thing you want to be. Numero zero doesn't have a great ring. Zero to the it. hero. Uh, anyway, oh. uh, that's exactly you the ring to it. You don't see it in the Olympics, though. <laughs> zero. Uh, um, I thought, though, I could happily put the zero card in the ballot as well. Chuck it in the ballot. Um, that's generous. But I just, yeah, at right. some point. Jack, chuck yours in as well, since you don't want it. <laughs> well. What do, you want? what do you want from us, Jack? What number I don't do know. you want? I, I wanted mean, three. You didn't even come to the show last week. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. <laughs> But it was on my top of my list to, if I was at the show last week, to bring up. To make sure I get a high status card <laughs> for low quality attendance. Yeah. <laughs> so, Jack, I think six represents, like, and it, by accident, but I think it represents where you sit at the moment, mm. having missed the show last week. Who's five? I think well, it's Mike. Oh, Mike. Jezza. Jez. Sorry, yeah, web, web geezer. Sense. Actually, yeah, yeah. if it's... it's Who's if four? It's, Who's four? Mikey. Oh, Mike. Yeah. <laughs> He's doing huge, huge amount of lifting at the moment. Yeah. If so, it's done on longevity, then Jez should be three, I should be four. And these new guys, I mean, they're brand new. I can't even believe they're three years. or four. <laughs> I can't believe they're three <laughs> or four. <laughs> they've been working with us for nearly you three years. You thought the numbers, <laughs> this is what this. I love, love this, yeah. the numbers have caused such a level of friction between <laughs> the team. Nothing can, mm. bring, uh, can bring a team unstuck <laughs> like uh, numerically ordering everyone. Uh, well, I'm laughing the laugh of the true yeah, three at number is, one. I can't help but see it as a ranking system. I'm seeing six yeah. as a rank. Yep. Would and you like us see. to write in very neat Sharpie lettering ISH after six? So it's like you could be lost. Yeah. Or not a ranking system. Like yeah, yeah. an acronym for that. Anyway, Jack. You want us to write top before it? Top six. Top six. <laughs> <laughs> I'll grin and bear it. You know right, it's, oh, it's not oh, about, what, is, what, it's what not. else are you going to? What are your other options? I mean, why not? Why not, why not I won't take this to the federal police. <laughs> yeah. There was there was one available number left and it was the zero card. Yeah. Yes. But okay. um, but yeah. Anyway, Jacko, don't bring out, don't bring down the loyalty cards uh, in such a manner. There are people out there with cards seventeen thousand four hundred eighty six who are wrapped. They're thrilled, to have yeah, it. Yeah. and they're not yeah, even yeah, a yeah. part of the limited edition Adele ones. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, you're right. <laughs> don't, remember, don't forget, anytime you want, yeah. you've got a fast access to seeing Adele's hello on Google. Yep, anytime yep, you want, yeah. Just no, by no, no, simply no. scanning the QR code. I am grateful. It's just when is, I look around it, in the media no, team, no, I know I'm. You're lost. not grateful because every time you say you're grateful, you follow up with a but. Uh, have you got an Adele card? I guess I do because uh, isn't the Adele ones the, the first, first 15,000? 15, I don't think it went out that way, but just double check. Okay. 
How do you how do you do these? I think just, you just hold it in the camera. Oh yeah, and just yeah open. open. Uh, I'm telling you, I'm going to. Hello. Hamishandandy.com. He doesn't even have a little. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Still grateful? <laughs> oh no, Evan, Jack, you no, work, I'm happy. You work I'm... on the show, and your response when you went to the show's website was, oh, "No, I hate this website." <laughs> I wanted to Google to, search. I wanted to Google, Google just search. Type, for hello, just type in "hello, mate." Yeah, into Google. I was teaching the shortcut afterwards. <laughs> anyway. Jack is a grumbler, yeah. Yeah, but on the was... most part, people have been very positive. That's true. The only feathers that have been ruffled are over the other side of the desk. Ahoy, boys. After much haranguing and negotiation from me and my dad, my mum, Rachel Eagleton, who is a clinical nutritionist in Balmain, Sydney, although she does online consultations worldwide, has decided to accept the loyalty card. I mean, why wouldn't she? It's, it's the card that the stores love. <laughs> Daniel here from Tasmanian Championship Wrestling. I'm looking forward to giving 10% off to all the loyalty card holders. Right. Uh, but on the down low, as a promoter, I am looking forward to that 5% kickback for you. <laughs> Damon Locke from Sydney. I tried to use the Hamish and Andy loyalty card at the Aaron Affair price line, but the employee didn't know what it was and laughed at me until I left. Ahoy boys, wow. here to report the Head Stuff Podcast Studio in Dublin, Ireland is happily accepting the card the stores love. <laughs> Hands down the best place to record your podcast. <laughs> Second only to Andy's Golf Simulator, obviously. It must be nice, Andy. It must be really nice. Hey guys, Jackie here in St. Charles, Missouri, United States. I own Sugarbot Sweet Shop and Little O's Old Time Soda Fountain. And I am happy to report that not only do neither of our locations have any teething issues, but I also believe that we are the first U.S. locations to openly accept the Hamish and Andy loyalty card. We can't wait to see you guys soon. Ahoy boys, it's Orson here from the U.K., for my birthday, my friends bought me a bottle of Svalbardi water, and I have to say it is <laughs> very nice. It's very refreshing over here in the top end of town, so I try to use the loyalty card to grab another bottle, but I'm sad to say that they are having some teething problems. Oh. I hope that they can fix this soon. Hi, Hamish and Andy. It's Lucky from Canberra. Just letting you know that the National Zoo and Aquarium would love to endorse the loyalty card. Just make sure you come up to myself or my girlfriend, Abby. And don't tell the boss. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's cool. Appreciate that, Alex. That's not a teething problem. That's just that's just extra customer service. Can't believe Svelbardi. Svelbardi Iceberg that, water's not taking it. That must be teething. That's a genuine teething issue because I imagine management are very happy with us. Well, they must have know. done the maths. I mean, we're their best customer. <laughs> we bought yeah. the, our joint account, mm. or would have been over a year ago now, bought two bottles of Svelbardi, which I imagine is their mm. biggest purchase. Yes. And then, lo and behold, now we've got these people asking about this card. Oh, it's from our best customers. You yeah. would have thought. That yeah. would be the company that would just let us breathe straight through. Probably already sorted, so log back in immediately. Yeah. And check to be honest, them. if you're looking to crack open an Esfalbardo this weekend, <laughs> you should be looking at a nice uh, 5% off there. Great recap, guys. Uh, keep your thoughts coming in. And, and Haim, who put that together for us to ring back the people? What's that, sorry? Who put that to be ringing back the people to, I think that was number Mike. Number four. Oh, number, <laughs> no, number three. <laughs> number three, no, hey. I oh, know, no, Mikey's four. Oh, sorry, four. three. Sorry, yeah, yeah, number, number four. four. Number yeah, four. number four did it. Two full runs <laughs> above Old six head over here. It's not a ranking system, though. Oh, it is. It's n- numerical. <laughs> Let's pause on that for next week because we've got to give... We the had lo- to pick today. Do we want to update <laughs> Impulse Club or Loyalty Cards? Yes. The winner was decided by, A, the one you guys care more about, and B, <laughs> what has been going on longer on the show. So we do have to update the Loyalty Cards. And... It's hitting more people. Not to say the Impulse Club is not as important, but Loyalty oh, Club. I, I know Impulse Club is for a very niche <laughs> yes. community. This is for everybody. This is for everybody worldwide. It's every single store worldwide. Um, a few teething issues still happening. Yeah. Um, Car dealerships seem to be amongst those that yep. f- <laughs> suffer yep. the most teething issues. My local uh, hot chocolate shop, well, it's a coffee shop, but sure. I don't go for coffees. You don't uh, partake they, in that type of... They of... accepted but needed a small explanation, I and I think that's yeah. I think that's upon the card holder mm. to get your explanation down pat. Right. My my yeah, that's true. My local milk bar, um I, I got I got it, mm. but it it got through on the second explanation with just a shake of the head. <laughs> which <laughs> is is they're accepting it. That's yeah. an acceptance. Yeah. But I felt like more of a like, go away nuisance. Yeah, well style. this is a bit of a yeah. weird like a duality because it's like on one hand you're accepting it, but on the other hand you're clearly having teething problems because you don't understand it. And I think a lot of small business operators are like that. Mm, They're just mm. giving it 
been a good experiment actually yep. on if you just press, they will surrender. Yes. And, <laughs> and give you the discount. Every single shop at the Chapel Street precinct. Uh, now that, we've got to obviously thank like, them again. Oh. They obviously took out the exclusive yeah. uh, billboard on the letter yeah. that was attached <laughs> to the card going out. Well, Chapel Street really Precinct. smart by Chapel Street Precinct <laughs> in Melbourne because that letter's ended up on a lot of fridges. I've sent it on a lot yes. of fridges and that's there, you know. Now it's, people, it's, it's, and I know that this is a global card and that's a local precinct, mm. but they're playing the long game yeah. and hats off to them for it because the more people that travel... To Australia. Yep. Now they'll put Melbourne on their list of places to visit. <laughs> when you're in Melbourne, take me straight to the Chapel Street Precinct, please. I heard it's the, essentially the holy city yeah. for the loyalty card. And look, we acknowledge that as soon as this was released, it went into stage four lockdown and no one could go. We have but, never not acknowledged that. <laughs> but um, once we're back out and running, guess where I'm heading? Straight away. Yeah. Like an absolute <laughs> greyhound. Like a greyhound. Uh, I'm um, here. Comp- I would love to see you run like a greyhound with your back bending. <laughs> <laughs> I was watching them at the park the other day. Yeah. They're backs. Yeah. They go crazy. They're like snakes. Yeah. They're- <laughs> <laughs> they're, it's, it's unbelievable. I'd love to watch you running like that to not, Chapel not, Street. Not, not going to happen. I've got a, a better chance of doing the jet backflip before Jack. <laughs> By the way, oh, I've really honestly stopped doing as that. If oh, we no, believe I that, have, mate, get blow it out your ass. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the amount of effort you're putting into trying to make us lower our guard, yeah. I, I only suspect you're putting as much effort into learning the backflip. I'm not. And thank you to Ryan from, uh, oh, well, he doesn't no. have a company, but he just was teaching me the backflip and I haven't seen him for many, many weeks <laughs> because I'm not doing it anymore. But yeah. thank you to him for the time he did spend to me where I didn't get to the backflip. And What I did never you do? Will. Well, starting position. Yeah, you go you, first. You jump backwards onto a mat and just land on your back. God. I mean, I'm sure Ryan's <laughs> Sorry, doing. I'm Ryan. sure. I'm sure Ryan's Ryan. doing a job he loves, but it would be you'd be hard pressed to feel job satisfaction <laughs> watching <laughs> Jack, Jack leap up just... and land backwards like a dead bug. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> dead bug. That's a term he uses. Well, well, for good reason. That's what you look like. But I mean, how's Ryan coming home at the end of the work that night and yeah. and have his partner go? How's work, honey? And be like, I just sit down. I had the best fun. Yeah, exactly. I this just... guy Jack, yeah. who's got a track history. Of a really only second to his friend Hamish yeah. of committing to things and not following through. Yeah. And so I know in my heart he's never gonna do this, but gosh, it was fun seeing him take the first of 19 steps. And I feel really I feel really satisfied. <laughs> um well apologies to Ryan. Jack's obviously having teething issues of his own. Having said that, um, if this is a long con and you're gonna try and trick us into watching a video of you doing it, mm. our guard will remain up. They can remain up or down, it doesn't bother me. Okay. Um I do uh, actually believe you've given uh, up. <laughs> I think that fits the profile. It's rock solid. Yes, I agree, Ham. Um, well, it's nice to put that one aside because something we have committed to yes. and delivered on yep. at some expense Great is expense. the loyalty cards, and a lot of people are enjoying them. Hey, it's Harry from Harry Hadley's Guitar Lessons. I'm proud to accept the Hamish and Andy loyalty card, so get in touch if you're a beginner, expert, or held back by one of those slow Yamahas. <laughs> Hey boys, it's Rob here from Toronto, Canada, and I'm happy to announce that Dog Tie Toronto will be honouring the Hamish and Andy loyalty card. We'll be giving 10% off all dog walks and staycations with 5% straight by to us, as well as an extra 10% off on birthdays, limited to one per year, Andy. <laughs> Ahoy, Hamish and Andy. Mitch here from Melbourne. Flippy Square Company, the Roll Hex, they are selling the mesmerising Flippy Squares. They are offering 10% off to any purchaser with the Hamish and Andy loyalty card, as long as they check out using the code 10 for me They are being extremely generous. That is a full 10% to the purchaser. They are not accepting the 5% back. I don't think there's any profit margin How left in that? those. Get around them, boys. Good morning, fellow Hamish and Andy law friends. This is Pina from Baraba Country, New South Wales. At the weekend, I travelled to the Hunter Valley Wine Region where we had luncheon at Broken Wood Vineyard. I asked the waitress if they accepted the loyalty card. I can report that the response was a firm no. Sadly, my glass of Cricket Pitch a Red Blend would have tasted a whole lot better if the Hamish and Andy loyalty card was obliged. G'day Hamish and Andy, Mitch here from Toowoomba and I'm the owner of both Mitch's Lawn Care and Mitch's Lawn Care Apparel. (laughs) <laughs> Unfortunately, there are some teething problems when it comes to Mitch's lawn care, but that's just a logistical thing and will hopefully be resolved soon. However, with Mitch's lawn care apparel, business is booming. Since the introduction of the loyalty card, I've seen business triple, maybe even quadruple in size. I just want to say thanks, guys, for supporting me and thanks for making me feel I can give back to the little guy. Hey, guys, Steph here from Melbourne. I tried the card out at Werribee Renault when I was buying a new car 
Yes, I know. Must be nice. Uh, what wasn't nice was not receiving the 5%. A few okay. teething issues there. Uh, maybe the marketing campaign needs a little bit more gusto. Hey, Hamish and Andy. It's Nathaniel from Adelaide here. Last Saturday night, I went to the Stag Public House on Rundle Street in Adelaide. I bought two jugs of beer. I displayed the card and the bartender proceeded to give me a 50% discount, earning the bar a kickback of 25%. Ooh. <laughs> There's a business that knows how to play its cards, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Watch and learn, Reno. Yeah. yeah. You could have you could have had a 25% kickback, yeah. but you didn't because you got silly and you didn't understand the card. Uh, well, apologies to those, uh, you know, the broken wood um, mm. winery and also Reno dealerships. We will follow up with that. And also that, Mitch's Lawn Care. I mean, sorry, not to be confused with Mitch's Lawn Care apparel, apparel. which are doing a stunning job. And well, he's, he's having, is he having teething issues? With the lawn care side of things. Yeah. But if they, if the one arm of the business could talk to the other, we'd yep. love to see a bit more synergy there. <laughs> but we knew, that's the thing with teething issues. Yeah. They're called teething issues because mm. they don't grow overnight. Yep. They come through eventually. Yeah, exactly. So the teeth are growing. Yep. It's just taking some time. <laughs> they'll, they'll be there. Um, Impulse Club next week. Yeah. More loyalty card updates to come. Uh, loyalty card cracking along. Yep. Very good news. Um, a lot of people asking about when the ballot might happen. Not in the foreseeable future. Mm. We I've, No info at this stage. I've got some news for you, Ham. Yep. That, uh, and Jack. From um, the, for the ballot? Yes. So this was, we, we are delivered twenty nine nine ninety drive away <laughs> for, for the first uh, batch of loyalty cards, just shy of 30,000. We have oh. 100. Accepted in all stores. Accepted in all stores worldwide. Everything yeah. seems to be going smoothly from that end. <laughs> yes. A uh, couple uh. of little teething problems here and there, but that's to be expected for, for when mm. you do a global rollout. I mean, before, until the coronavirus vaccine rolls out, mm. we are the biggest global rollout. I would say, Yeah. <laughs> I mean, actually, I wouldn't say it's only well, nothing, nothing else on earth has required global cooperation That's like true. this, yep. and it's been a nice little uh, dry run for the CV vaccine. We know that there's a hundred that's going to be put in the ballot, a hundred extra. Yes, which you hope doesn't happen with the vaccine. Here's the thing, guys. You hope everyone has access to it. <laughs> there is a. There's been a few return to senders. Oh, oh, wrong address. Wrong address, yeah. unknowner. Yeah, so. What do we do? Are we trying to reach back out to those? I'll have a full list of those people. I think everyone deserves a second shot. Okay. If they, I mean, because we've printed their name themselves. on them. We've printed their name on them. Oh, yep. mate, you and your budget issues with mail. Well, mate, this has cost us an absolute fortune. <laughs> price on loyalty. <laughs> we have. Yeah, I know. It's, it's in the high. tens and tens of thousands. <laughs> um, but here, all right. Okay, uh, we'll, we'll work. Just, I don't want to start with a downer, but let's, let's no, just work out what we're going to do with no, the return. It's not an up, up, but it's not a downer. Okay, it's, it's, it's a business. Runs, yeah. Um, uh, here's what I worry has happened, that people that missed out or that know they were past the 2990 cutoff mm. have got a friend or someone they know is due to get one and they've exactly. intercepted yep. and they've written not known at this address, sending it back to hope that this exact scenario would happen. So that's that's why, why I think we owe everyone a second shot. That's true. <laughs> Jack's nodding. He's, <laughs> yep. he's and, given that the 100%. And that's look. why we employ all businesses to have a secondary ID. Yeah. <laughs> Checking someone's loyalty yes. card. Yes. Because you don't know what kind of, yeah. when a card is hot, yeah. you don't know what kind of stealing and fraud might be going on. And I think you fair. go, what we'd like to see happen worldwide is, let, okay, let's just say you're a real estate agent in Florida mm. and someone's gone, here's the loyalty card. Can I get 10% off this house? <laughs> yep, sure. That was a million dollars. <laughs> Obviously, that's now 900. 50 to me. Yep. Right. 50 back. 50 to you. To the company. Um, so everyone's happy. Mm. Sorry, can I just see some ID? And then they go, like, oh, you know, loyalty card's the only thing I've got on me at the moment. Yeah. Yep. They no. go, okay, that's a warning. <laughs> yeah, I'd like to see I'd a like, warning I'd system. I'd like to hear some warnings have come in because you couldn't provide a second ID. And if you have to warn someone a second time, yep, that's... then you we should set up a hotline that you can call <laughs> if you suspect fraudulent activity. Um, we have a hotline for people that have been joining the card yep. or any gripes. People have been contacting. Um, big thanks to Mike for going through these. But, yeah, look, this is just how the card is being received around the world. It's so great. This is Yaron from Riverina Rural Contracting out of Wagga in New South Wales. This is just a quick message to let the listeners know that we're having no teething issues <laughs> with the Hamish and Andy loyalty cards. <laughs> and uh, we can't wait to give you not only the five, but the full 10% off the total of your next friends or our other services. Business is really booming, despite the Rona trying to kick us down, and we just want to give back to the people. Oh. I'm just spewing I didn't get in early enough to get myself my own loyalty card. Yeah. Damon here. 
Just want to say thank you for my card. I explained the benefits to my dad and he was blown away that you completely revolutionized the game and said he would definitely accept the loyalty card at his store. I mean, he'd be silly not to. It's Nick and Cody from Rocked Ice in Perth, Western Australia. Here at Rocked, we make bespoke cocktail ice. We can also freeze objects of no value in the middle of each cube. Pam, we could even put a moulded copy of your SP in there. We'd just have to find a mould that's big enough. <laughs> Must be nice. nice. Rocked is happily accepting the Hamish and Andy loyalty card, as we know a good deal when we see one. 5% to the customer, 5% to us. Nice having the jump on Amazon. No teething issues here. <laughs> Cheers, Cheers, guys. <laughs> Ahoy, boys. Sarah, Jez. Mike and number six I was enjoying a lovely cappuccino at my local cafe the other day when I whipped out my Hamish and Andy loyalty card that's number sits well into the 11,000s the cafe owner actually stopped me and she said oh wow I actually went to high school with Hamish and Ryan Shelton she proceeded to tell stories of the primary school days of Ryan and then meeting Hamish in high school and a couple of classic class clown stories of Hamish. And she was just reminiscing very fondly about her childhood friends before flat out refusing the card. <laughs> uh, any teething issues were a full-blown toothache where I paid 100% of the bill with zero savings for me. Hey, Hamish and Andy. Jordy from Quizmeisters Trivia here. Just uh, calling to let you know that we are very proud to accept the Hamish and Andy loyalty card. So if you or someone you love is looking for a private online trivia show to keep you entertained during this weird time, uh, check out our website, quizmeisters.com. Ahoy, boys. It's Noah from Bomb Beach, Victoria. I tried using the loyalty card at my high school canteen and instead of a 10% discount, they gave me a detention. My name is Nima and I am the founder of a new online will and estate planning app. One will was meant to be live by now, but as soon as I heard about the Hamish and Andy loyalty card program, I personally cancelled all of our product development and postponed Go Live to focus solely on setting up our systems so that we could really capitalise on the very generous 5% kickback from loyalty card holders. So even though this approach pushed us out a little bit, I'm pleased to report that we are now back on track to go live in October, just in time for everyone to review their financial affairs. <laughs> Oh, great. Oh, gorgeous. I was confusing last one, but I got Ups there. and downs. Think, yeah. yeah, well, I mean, that's smart businessman. Um, you know, he's obviously going live with a unicorn, yeah. an online company that's uh, on the verge of being valued at a bill. Mm. He's probably going, what if we don't quite get to the billion and we're not a unicorn? Yep. I think I know how we're going to get there. Yep. We're through the 5% kickback, rewrite everything. You've seen the social network, headphones <laughs> on, not going to the party, coding, 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 coding. all night. <laughs> uh, what did you do to this Girl I'll to know who it was. I thought I thought it sounded like a low. I thought it was going to be a free cappuccino. Yeah, and in the end, it was a zero percent discount. Yep. Have to ask Ryan. Sounded a bit more like it. Him. Ryan had scarred her. Yeah. <laughs> she sounded. She she had a lot more memories about Ryan. Ryan. He got deeper yep. into her psyche. Yep. Um, that's a real shame. But we will chase <laughs> chase it up. It just goes to show that some you know. There are teething problems. Uh, which surprises me. Mm. It surprises but me. But shock, but you but... look at the human body, Ando. Mm. The human body, one of the most incredible things mm. in the universe. Mm. It's evolved over millions of years to be this machine that we are now in. Yep. It has teething problems. Yep. That's where the saying comes from. Yep. Teeth come in, they're not working. <laughs> <laughs> you know, even the human body has yeah, teething that's problems. True. So you're just so going to go, well, we'll get geez, we've it. done pretty well if we've made a card that's just about as good as the human body, <laughs> you know? <laughs> You know, got to make your own fun during lockdown. <laughs> you really do. <laughs> One thing that people aren't experiencing is the opposite of fun. Oh, yeah. It's disappointment. And our loyalty card is having more teething issues. It's, it still works. Yep. Very much like the app. It's always worked. Two thumbs up. <laughs> it's just having teething issues. It's having teething issues, isn't it? And, and more than we expected. We knew yep. you roll out a global um, discount, mutually beneficial discount program. Yeah, exactly. And you are going to have the odd pain in the tooth. Mm. But we would have thought they would sort of die out in the first few weeks, much like real teething. You yeah. know, a, a baby teethes, the, the tooth comes through, yep. everything's fine. We're surprised to find essentially a 10-year-old teething still. <laughs> yeah. Because, well, your teeth, yeah. they should be in by now. Yeah. We're curious as to why there are these teething issues. It, we really appreciate the people getting in touch with us, yep. letting us know that there are some stores that are beginning to get on our nerves. Mm. We, well, I think we've been super lenient yeah, exactly. in this kind of like rollout stage. But it's been long enough. And I, Yeah, and I, I, I wouldn't say we're at the stage now where we're, we're moving to the next part after teething issues, mm. where we're, becoming to, we're getting a bit fed up with yep. some stores who refuse to get on board mm -hmm. or to iron out the kinks at their end. Mm. But we are, we're probably moving in that direction, aren't we? Absolutely. <laughs> 
Ahoy lads, Cam from Canberra. Uh, I tried the H&A loyalty card at Kingston Superbarn and not going to lie, I was pretty keen for that 40 cents off my weekly milk. Yeah. Of course, giving 20 cents back to them, but uh, unfortunately they're having teething issues. Um, the H&A loyalty card was met with a confused look, a uh, shake of the head and a, um, a bit of a wave away. So oh. I'm going to keep trying and I'll let you know. It's Thanks. Rowan here from Kenmore in Brisbane. I've just experienced some teething issues at a local Zarafa's. The manager at the counter didn't recognise the limited edition Adele card oh, and wow. even after I explained that I'd be giving them right back 5%, <laughs> yeah. which is why it's the card that stores love, exactly. she still wouldn't help me or herself. The whole time a junior in the back, who was clearly on board with the card, just stood there laughing to himself and didn't help out the manager, which I'm sure would have earned him a promotion for getting them onto the stores that honour the card list and getting back heaps of extra 5% from your loyal listeners. It's Jeremy from WA. I tried to use their loyalty card when buying a jug of beer at the University of Western Australia Tavern. Staff had not been informed of the card by upper management and didn't accept it. Poor uni students can't catch a break. Ahoy boys, just tried out the card in the 5th Avenue Apple Store in New York City. I am gutted to have to announce that they do appear to have teething issues. But I know Ando is undoubtedly mates with some of the higher ups. So fingers crossed, he'll pull a few strings. Hey guys, it's Lily from England. I'm sad to report that the Hobbit pub in the UK is having teething problems. Oh. Upon explaining the card, was told, so with this 5% off, I'm going to put it back on the bill, yeah. denying me of my discount. Proudly sported my Hamish Nandy loyalty card at Nara Boost Juice the other day. They're obviously having some uh, teething issues down there as she laughed at me and told me it was definitely a joke. But uh, the joke's on her as she doesn't get that juicy 5% kickback. <laughs> and uh, she mistook my order and gave me a large instead of a medium. So I'm obviously uh, a winner there. But it would be nice to see them uh, honour the card that stores love. Mm. It's Mitchell from Campbelltown. I tried to use the loyalty card at Woodbine Porto. Mm. They went to scan it, but the computer was wasn't registering it as a loyalty card and mm. not giving me that discount. And they must be having teething issues. It just must be their computers. Yeah, I'm sure they'll work it out very soon. Yeah. William here from North Lakes, Queensland. Just wanted to let you guys know that IKEA up here in North Lakes seems to be having some teething issues oh. with the Hamish and Andy loyalty card. The lady said she didn't know, she'd never seen it before, but oh. she thought she'd give it a try. She scanned the card, the QR code. Luckily, hello didn't play on the register, <laughs> but yeah, apparently they don't accept it, so such a tragedy. I was half hoping it would send the bill to Adele. Yeah. Might be a little backdoor, at oh. least, to reckon the card. So uh, that is a bummer to hear hear of these issues. Yep. Uh, again, we thank everyone with their patience, certainly on the Lord here, hold side of things because you're all doing the right thing. Why don't we... Next week, just give a little ring around. Mm. Maybe start with the I've Kingston seen a f- Super Barn. And I've seen a few it. boosts come in, Ando. That's not the first instance of a boost juice not accepting the card. Really? I don't want to throw any one organisation under the bus. I know we've been a bit critical of Amazon, yep. and I hear from a good source they are working hard to change their game. <laughs> yep. You'll get on to Apple. I will. <clears throat> so but, um, we've yeah. got most of the NASDAQ covered. Yep. Boost is concerns me because this is a pattern of rejection. Yeah. A pattern of teething issues from Boost. And I just, yeah, I'm just, I'm baffled by this. I think a lot of it, <clears throat> pardon me, I think a lot of it falls into two categories, yeah. tech issues yeah. and management. Yep. And both need to sharpen up. Yeah. And it's really management. And that's what we're going to have to say to the managers management. when we get onto them to go, your job to update the system. Yep. It's your job to run the computers. You're the manager. Mm. Have we put the wrong person in charge? Yeah. You, sort of, you, you put it back on there. Yeah, yeah. Have we? Have we? Have we put or the wrong... Or can we get this happening <laughs> yeah. okay. and start... And start embracing the stores. We'll get, the onto, the, the stores we'll get onto that next week. Keep your feedback coming in. Really appreciate it. Hey, we touched on the loyalty cards at the top of the uh, show. Of course, great news that uh, they've made it to the US, Canada. Awesome. They're around the world at the moment. And they're landing Very in... Very few teething issues. No, this is, which is great. Landing yeah. in the hands of, of appreciative users. Yep. And expert users. Mm. I mean, we're just seeing... Great examples of the five for them, five for you deal yep. globally. Mm-hmm. It's beautiful. works in every language, every country. Everyone sends a good deal. It's a universal language. That's why I was very, very disappointing him to receive an email from Jacob O'Connell. Um, What's he done? It's fair to say he's a snitch <laughs> in this regard, yep. uh, but a snitch for the good um, he. <laughs> <laughs> for no, no, reason. guys. The police said I was a snitch for the good. You're not listening to me. <laughs> <laughs> no, they, 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 snitches do get stitches, yeah. but sometimes they highlight glitches. Yeah, stitches, this, this snitch is getting a glitch. He's a glitch snitch. Yeah. 
Um, he talks of a close friend of his who was in possession of a loyalty card. Yep. Um, which was exciting for him, although the envelope remains unopened at his house on another pile of mail. Right. Now, so who's, the, you, who's, the, who's the unopener? Richard is his R- name. Ricardo. And does, does, do we know that Richard knows he's received it? I mean, yes. it does come in a Hamish Annie envelope. Yep, very aware. He's um, aware. He just yeah. hasn't got around to opening it. Hasn't got around to opening it, which to me... Does this guy hate deals? No, <laughs> no, do you hate discounts? Must be nice. Must be very nice to not need the 5% day in, day out. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So I think we need to ring him and, and try and get a little probe into what's going on, yeah. why he hasn't opened it, yeah. and why isn't he not enjoying the deals. Mm. Um, maybe I'll ring him from the, the, uh, the printing company saying that they're following up on all the people and seeing if there's any returns. Yeah. Well, I think just... I mean, he, the card wouldn't have been activated. <laughs> That's true, yeah. You don't have to activate it, but he no. wouldn't know that because he hasn't opened no, it. No, exactly. Um, so, but he def- so it definitely wouldn't have been activated. So um, maybe we just give him a call and... Um, yeah, let's rattle him. See if we can rattle him. Hello? Hi, it's Darius speaking. I was, I was after a Richard uh, Man Edger. Yes, that's me. Have, I, sorry, if I, pr- if I pronounce that correctly? It's manager, yes. Uh, sorry, ma- manager. So you're breaking up a bit. Um, can oh, you hear my, me? My reception is not great. Yeah, I can hear you fine. Okay. Uh, sorry to bother you. I'm I, I, I'm working on behalf of PCP, um, the plastic card printers, and we've, we're doing some work with a number of people, including the Hamish Nerdy Show. Yeah. Um, and we're just looking at the return to centers. We've we've had problems with this loyalty card, and we wondered whether you had received yours. We're just going through to make sure people had received them because we've received. I've received it. I've received it. You've received it. Yeah. Right. Um. And have 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 you used the card yet? Uh, no, I've not used the card yet. It's it's actually sitting in my car. Right. There was just we had sensors put on some of the envelopes. And yep. yours didn't go off, so we just were under the impression that perhaps you hadn't opened the letter yet, hence why we called it just to check whether the, that you've received it. Yeah, it actually, I'd, I'd received the card. Uh, my, one of my friends actually told me to sign up to get the card. Mm-hmm. Um, I wasn't up to date with the podcast. And right. then uh, not long after, my friend told me that I can't actually use it anywhere because there's not many places paying it. I'm like, okay, well, I'll well, keep the card that, anyway. That's, that's absolutely incorrect. Um, sorry, let me just hand you off to uh, a, co- a co-worker of mine. Uh, this is Minx. Um, did you say you were having trouble um, using the card? Uh, no, I wasn't having trouble. I had a friend who was telling me that it's not, um, you, it, you can't be used everywhere. So I said, That's okay, mm, bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> because that is BS. That's, it's accepted everywhere. It says it on the card. If you'd opened the package, yeah. you would have read oh. that it's accepted everywhere. Right, I trust my friend. So, well, who do you trust more, your friend or Hamish and Eddie? <laughs> you have to say one. Go on. I don't know. I don't you know. Well, I'm having second thoughts now. I don't. I don't actually know. You uh, do have to say. say. Who do you trust, Hamish and Andy, more, or your friend, this friend that's led you astray? I'm a bit pressured at the moment, but I think I'll have to. I do trust Hamish and Andy more. That's good. Um, Very good. So <laughs> I, apologize, I apologize to my friend in advance. What's his name? Jacob. Yes, as um, a friend you don't trust. Yeah, yeah. Well, because I understand. Just, not, I understand. I'm just making a note on your file here. <laughs> yeah, a friend you don't trust. Do, don't trust Jacob. Because yeah, look, I just, you... I just understand. I think he's actually an email through. Yes. Telling you guys what's happened. You're accusing him, Jacob, of being a snitch, an untrustworthy <laughs> yeah. snitch. I'm not. I'm not accusing him. I know for a fact it's happened. <laughs> <laughs> would you Would you say that it's a a snitch that deserves a stitch, as in you yeah. don't like it, yeah. or do you think it's a no. snitch to correct look, a glitch? Oh, I don't want to say again. I don't. I don't want to say. I'm just saying. I know that he's he's snitched on me. He is a snitch. Um, <laughs> I don't know. If it's, I don't know. Tell me if that's a trustworthy trade or not. Is he a snitch that's perhaps a tad too rich, and he doesn't no, that's think? Really he... not the case. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, Jacob. Um, sorry. So, Jacob. <laughs> Uh, I under, I've come across information that Hamish Nerdy did receive an email <laughs> suggesting that you haven't opened the card. That's correct. Look, 
Uh, I hope that hasn't caused any issues. Open the card, um, mate. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. We've, we've we're just It's character. Hamish and Andy here. We've just come you. into the call center. <laughs> we've snatched the phones away <laughs> from Trellor. Yeah. And Mix. <laughs> <laughs> and we want to talk to you personally, mate. This has been elevated up the chain, mm. and we are looking right here at the radar. We can see the card. I can we, go. I can go to my car right now. I can open up the card. I've got my card just out. Go and just open it to open it. Open it to, u- to use it to cherish it. Yes. Yeah, sure. To see okay. the ad for the Chapel Street shopping precinct on the letter. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. I think sponsor, I think of, the fact, sponsor of the letter. The fact that you guys have called, I think it shows, you know, maybe it's thing, maybe things have gotten better. So, look, I'm sure if I try somewhere or other places, it'll actually us. work. And, trust us. Yep. And we know yeah. you do trust us more than Jacob. You're welcome, Jacob. We yes. appreciate that. Hey, um, so I don't know you guys will snitch on me, so. J- J- no way. <laughs> Jacob, you've got, uh, sorry, uh, uh, Richard, uh, uh, a friend of untrustworthy Jacob. Um, yep. You've got one week to go and use the card. We'll we, call back next week we will be and we'll see it. whether it was successful or not. Sure. All right. No worries. We'll do. We'll do. What else haven't you opened? Uh, that. Just that. <laughs> that's that, that, that's Kick in the teeth. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I hope that this attention to detail proves to you that our customer service is right on top of this stuff. Yeah. And well, we will... no, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. And if Hamish and Andy themselves have called, you know, that goes to show how important it is to them. So Absolutely. Well, it was the... like the other day when I couldn't log on to Facebook and Zuck called me. So that's just, <laughs> I'm just, I can't, you know, I shouldn't be saying this, but I can see you're trying, you're trying, you haven't used your account for a while. Yeah. You, I can't say too much, but are you perhaps missing missing a hash from the password? <laughs> and I went, Zuck, you son of a bitch, I am. But there was a hash at the end. <laughs> Thank you, buddy. Appreciate Good it. Good luck. Cool, see you, mate. See Thanks, you. mate. Bye. Hey, last week uh, we had Richard on the show. Um, he was dobbed in by a snitch. Yep. To cover a glitch, not yeah. a snitch that deserved a sn- no, 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 a stitch. No, more of yeah, glitch snitch. <laughs> yes, uh, his mate uh, rounded his house said that he was looking at the mail. Richard hadn't even opened the envelope that had his loyalty card in it. Isn't and, that insane? And Isn't we, that insane? We, it's like going to King Arthur's house and going, is that Excalibur behind the door? <laughs> yeah. Pulled it out of the rock and I've just never really been using it. <laughs> Oh, well, you should. I mean, it's a very special sword. Oh, yeah. Get, yeah. I'm just using some other stuff at the moment, and I'm just, I've been walking around with a broom. <laughs> it's the best sword in the world. Yeah. Oh, no. I used it to cut up some salad the other day, and I'm just more using it in the kitchen. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Richard joins us back again. He vowed that he would unwrap the loyalty card and use it. Richard, ahoy to you. Hey, boys. How are we going? Welcome back. Well, we're going very good, Rich. Um, how's your week been? Yeah, pretty good. Not bad. Not bad. Um, you know, try to make the most of my opportunities to use the card. Okay, great. Um, so you have unwrapped it. I did unwrap it. Yeah, I had to break the authenticity of the envelope that it was in. What um, number? What number are you, Richard? Just a bit uh, lower than Jack. So twenty six thousand four hundred ninety one. <laughs> yeah, up there with Jack. So about on the same level as Jack. Sort of. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Any, anything's yeah. kind of above five <laughs> is all sort of captured yeah. in that <laughs> high, number too many band. Numbers. high number. High number. Many numbers. <laughs> um. Richard, did you go out and attempt to use it anywhere? Are there any stores you can report the good news about? Are there any stores that are having teething issues? Um, Unfortunately, all the places I went to all had teething issues. Um, Hang up on him, Jack. I don't think you were at all. (laughs) No, but I mean, is it because they... You, well, you I'll did. reserve judgment, okay. but I but I get the sense that it's because the stores in the area were told to expect a card coming in early, much earlier in the year. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And they've lost faith in the card because they haven't seen it, and then now they've gone, they've slipped off the program because you didn't present it earlier. What which stores, mate? Yes. Uh, so I'll call them out happily. So the first place I went to uh, was a burger joint nearby uh, mm. called Gorilla Grill. Mm-hmm. Um, I presented it to the manager. And he just wasn't having a bar of it. Sort of gave me a funny look. So I just walked right. without ordering. Yeah. We'll, we'll call. Oh, that's funny. We'll I, call I thought Gorilla Grill was on board. Um, you might have actually got the day manager. I think we <laughs> deal with the regional manager. <laughs> okay. Yep. Pop that down there. Um, so the second place I went to uh, just ran by a chemist house. A yeah. bigger chain. So, you know, the with the chain of command and it, how long it takes for the message to get across, it would take a while. But the lady at the counter... Just laughed at me when I tried to get a discount, which I, I thought that was a bit rude. Right, that's um, warehouse. That, that's, that's a crazy. surprise, we've, isn't it? Because... We've done good business with Chemist yeah. Warehouse before. <laughs> yeah. Selling Andy by Hamish, Jack well, and Hamish I have been did at the business behind my back. But yeah, well, we still did good, great business together. <laughs> um, I think what's happened there, that's a you annoyingly chalk that one up to COVID. I think in all, the, you know, they're on the front lines. Yeah. They're selling gloves and sanitizer and masks. Yeah. yeah. 
And she could I, have been a new worker as well, maybe even. I don't, I don't actually know. True. She yeah. does sound like it. Yeah. And I think when the messages come through from head office, just all the extra COVID stuff at the moment. Yep. Um, that, that's, we'll, that's, we'll that's, ju- that's a tiny slip up, not a teething. We'll jump on that one. Yeah. Uh, final one um, for us, Richard. Yeah, I've I've tried to contact, uh, like you, Hame, I do a bit of online shopping at the moment. Mm-hmm. Um, I've been going through ASOS quite a bit, so I've actually sent ASOS. them a message as well. Still I, waiting to hear a response, but... Um, I've got a, I, don't, I can't say this in any concrete way, but I do have a good vibe that ASOS is on board. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and But I think what yeah. we're finding there, Richard, and I, I'm working through a similar issue at the moment with um, a guy I know, Jeff, who run, runs Amazon. Yep. And he, the back end is the problem there because a lot of these companies, Huge. I want to have you go at them here, but a lot of these companies sort of saw the opportunity in e-commerce yep. and they, got, they set up before talking to us. Yep. And especially Amazon, I know that's been going, you know, they set up very... They, well, they pounced yep. and they didn't sort of, uh, you know, let us know, oh, we're thinking of doing this online store. Do you guys have any loyalty cards coming out? We no. do together. They just sort of did their own thing. And now, annoyingly, they've got a back end entrenched, mm. doesn't have the facility for the loyalty card, but mm. they are working on it. Um, well, that's good news, Richard, for all those three there. <laughs> teething problems around the floor. Just teething problems. Yeah. And that's the thing. You can't have teeth without teething problems. <laughs> <laughs> say so. We don't have a full mouth of teeth yet. <laughs> we'll, we'll, uh, we're glad you got the card, though, buddy. Thanks very much for uh, for checking back in with us. No worries. Thanks, boys. Cheers, have a buddy. Good one. Sounds like a busy day. See you, mate. <laughs> Annoying for Rich. Just off to get a burger and a mm. tube of cream. <laughs> <laughs> Get either. Loyalty card was a big thing for everybody this year. Um, Game there's, still, there's still a hundred, well, actually more than a hundred going to be available because there has been some returns, yes. uh, but there's a hundred unnamed ones. <laughs> they will be released next year yep. in a very exciting ballot. Um, so sorry, I know people want the loyalty card for Christmas. Um, if you're going to uh, use it anywhere, yeah. Chapel Street Precinct. Vibrant. We've got to thank them again for sponsoring the Letter, letter the that went letter out, that went the out card, with the card. The card, of course, yep. is independent, cannot yep. be sponsored, cannot be bought, available mm. to use everywhere on the planet. But Lord, the Lord, letter, of the, Lord of the Fries down there in, in Chapel Street, they're taking the card. Oh, um, but, yeah, I think look, pretty much most. If you're in Melbourne, um, Chapel Street's re-boomed. Yep. Post-COVID, they've boomed back to life, yep. and they're kind of the, they're the unofficial home of the loyalty card. Melbourne Bicycle Centre. Yep. NBC. He's accepting, he's accepting the card as well. Might swing on down and get an inner tube. <laughs> <laughs> Sting them for five. Um, uh, we. And I'll take five. <laughs> um, Haim, obviously, a uh, huge thanks to all the stores yep. that are saying that they're um, they're going to to use it yep. um, or, or accept it, which um, is really, I mean, should be every single. A huge thank you to the stores that just got it. Yes, because that's that's really that was part of the the system was just that was what revolutionised the mm. game was the one hundred percent immediate mm. acceptance. Yes, so thank you to those people that have played ball. Yep. Uh, Haim, uh, we've got a, a bit of a montage put together from Mike. Just uh, a few happy customers or loyalty card holders. Awesome. This just sums up the mood at the moment regarding the Hamish Nandy loyalty card. Ahoy, Hamish and Andy. It's Amanda from Lake Macquarie, New South Wales. I'm happy to report that Target and Charlestown Square are experiencing zero teething problems with your loyalty card. In fact, Silly Me had forgotten to present it that day, but the lovely cashier spotted the famous blue and white card in my wallet and honoured me the full 10% discount, taking no percentage back. So my thanks to you and to Target at Charlestown Square. Ahoy, it's Ellen from Sydney, loyalty card number 19,302. I tried using my card at the Marrickville Metro Woolworths and was met with extreme teething issues. The lady serving me obviously hadn't been trained properly as she didn't recognise the card and looked at me like I had two heads. I repeated multiple times that it was the card the stores love it is, to yeah. no avail. I've not been back to that Woolworths and have found myself shopping Paris Farm. <laughs> right. That's pretty nice. Ahoy, <laughs> Hamish, nice Andy and good old number six, Jack. It's Jared down in Mornington reporting that Doug from Osteopath by the Bay is happily accepting the H&A loyalty card. That's good. Unfortunately, Nib is still having some teething issues, yes. so no discount on their component. Um, hence, they don't receive the 5% back, unfortunately. <laughs> uh, but hopefully we can get them sorted out and more savings to be had by all. Hi, Hamish. Hi, Andy. It's Johanna here from Finland. Oh. So, I went to a bar here in Helsinki. Should be fine. It's called the Aussie Bar. Mm. I figured that that would be the perfect place to use my loyalty card. Mm. Went to get a beer, and I must say that the bartender was a bit confused at first. Mm. But as a fellow podcast listener, he of course honored the card and gave me a discount on my beer. (laughs) So if you're ever coming to Helsinki, that's the place to be. Dean here from Queensland. I bought a new car the other day. I know. 
must be nice. <laughs> I was getting a couple of insurance quotes from speaking with Amy Insurance. I thought that surely they will be on board. They are. Unfortunately, I must have got someone who was down the ranking order a bit. Brand new. If Amy had loyalty cards, the person I spoke to would definitely be number six or lower. So unfortunately, I must report teething issues. Teething? As wow. a result, they missed out on a tasty 5% back. <laughs> But thanks for a great card. I still refer to it as the card that the stores love. G'day guys, Harry Baxter here from Baxter Boots. We're a family-run company providing quality footwear since 1850, which wow. means we're in touch with the common man, which is more than we can say for Andy. Oh, Pleased to buddy. announce our store in Tamworth accepts the Hamish and Andy loyalty card. We also have some bargain bins out the front, so Jack, next time you're in town, buddy, you can have a rummage through. Cheers, boys. G'day, Hamish and Andy. It's Jack here, and I just want to let you know that I went to subscribe to the premium version of the Hamish and Andy app, which costs a hefty $7 a year. I noticed there was no way for me to apply my loyalty card. Here's the hoping that the creators of the card can get through their own teething problems and receive their well-deserved five percent. Cheers, boys. Should be there. Yeah. yeah, we'll look into that. Should have been on the drop-down yeah. menu that you might have missed. <laughs> we'll absolutely look into that. Send it, shoot an email off tonight. Yeah, I'll get them to that. I like how Jack, you were not invited to have any free boots, but more of just you're invited to have a rummage <laughs> through the bargain bin. <laughs> through the bargain bin, which you you would assume a rummage is open to everyone. Yeah. But Jack, you've got a special invitation. I can't wait to get back up there. Maybe for an early rummage before the other before the hordes get to the boots. <laughs> Hey, and one thing we promised to uh, follow up on was loyalty cards. Obviously, we mm. got twenty nine nine hundred uh, that we've away. given away of the thirty thousand loyalty cards. A lot of people uh, were getting their discounts across the time. This is a Hamish Nandy loyalty card. Um, uh, we had a lot more interest than uh, we had available cards to go out, which we apologise for. But it gives you ten percent off every store worldwide. Disappointing at the Australian Open Hand, the Canadian Club Tent. Having some teething mm. issues, I noticed. You would assume that that's head office. They yep. know, how did, I was just wondering, how would they have done that? Because I, I assume the Australian office would be well across it, mm. but maybe it's they have sent someone out from Canada. But yep. I'm just thinking, with COVID, how do they do that? <laughs> yeah, it's a shame. It's a scandal because uh, it's a, clearly a Canadian that's working the desk and... And it should have been across that. But anyway, it's a teething issue. With COVID, I don't know if the... To pair it with a good wanted, news story... Yeah, yeah. I was playing golf at St Andrews Beach Golf Class, a, a golf club. A guy walked past on his way off and he said, enjoy your round. I said, thanks. And he said, by the way, very pleased that they accept the loyalty card here. Asked, Fantastic. Asked at the pro shop. They'd given him the 5% off and he'd shown his card. So Straight, back, straight, straight back to the pro shop. Yep. And, um, you good. know. It's the, still the pro shop's love. Yep. I was... <laughs> it's the card this pro shop's love. Sorry, it's the card the pro shop's love. It's the store that Andy likes to <laughs> shop at. I also like it. You do like it. It's one of your one of your clubs. Uh, I've got to be careful. You don't want to play favourites amongst the one plus clubs you've admitted to it's being a, a member to a, on the show. It's a public golf course. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Seem anyway. to treat it like a private <laughs> club. I did. I was buying a frozen yogurt for my daughter. Yep. Um, first few days that I'd moved to Sydney, Present and the card? so I don't know. I, I was somewhere in the Randwick area. Yeah. I'm at the counter, right? Mm. I was. I only had tap and go. So I'm like, oh, I don't have my wallet on me. And that's got the card in it. Yeah. Wasn't doing the card. Guy walks up behind me and goes, "Hi, do you accept the Hamish and Andy loyalty card?" To the girl serving me. What'd she say? And she went, I'm not sure. It's possibly a student or a backpacker. Yeah. I detected an accent. I'm not. I'm just saying perhaps fresh, new to the country yep. again, so maybe not across the across the loyalty card situation. She said, oh, I'm not sure what that is. And I had the privilege of being the <laughs> passerby. Yeah. And I said, oh, you should take, everyone takes them. <laughs> um, I said, hey, yeah, everybody does it. It's 10% off. Mm. Everything. Yep. She went, really? <laughs> so you could see in her eyes going, Wow, that's okay, a good card. management hasn't mentioned that. Yeah. And then I said, But the great news is five percent straight back to the store. It's the, it's the store the card the card the stores love. Yep. And she went, eh, that does sound like a good idea. <laughs> and then and then he was able to get the discount because I was like a stooge in the audience going, Yeah, everyone takes this card. Like a politician's press conference. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh, one more question, Minister. How is it that you're so generous to the people of your electorate yet balance the books perfectly? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Great question. So we've got an extra 100 to give away. We've got yeah, 15,000 we people standing by for a chance to win that 100. We said we'd have some kind of lottery. Yeah. Hey, the idea sprung to us that no one picks up their phone anymore. Yeah. It should be a triumph to pick up your phone. Yeah. So the game we're going to play now is of that 15,000 people that have registered, we're going to ring the random number. If they, pick up, if they pick up 
they've got themselves a loyalty card yeah. unless we call another number and they pick up. There's a chance for the steal. There's, there's a chance for a steal. <laughs> it's, it's different to what, what I like about this, Ando, yep. is usually if this was on radio, mm. there would be like three months of build-up. To yep. like, you know, don't, you know, if this was the Today Show, it'd be like, mm. don't be away from the phone, whatever. Yeah. No one knows we're doing this. No. Because we didn't talk, we haven't talked about it before, mm-hmm. and now it's just happening. It's just happening out of nowhere. So it's like if you pick up, you really deserve this loyalty card. Olivia is the first person we're going to try. Um, she was standing oh by. Good luck, Olivia. Jeez, if she picks up. The mobile phone you have called is okay, currently okay. not accepting incoming okay. calls. Well, oh, okay, me- outbound <laughs> situation only. <laughs> Okay, then this Olivia, is the thing. This is the thing. I've actually Olivia's never missed heard out that. on her opportunity. Rebecca. I've, heard, I've heard this number's disconnected, but not. Yes, I'm still using the phone, but I don't accept incoming <laughs> calls. <laughs> Rebecca's the next number. Thank you for calling me and when I clinical psychologist. No, no. Due to the current COVID outbreak. No, no. So we're not saying no to the COVID outbreak. I understand that's serious. We're just saying no. You've, that was a that was a hang up too. That was yeah, a, that she, was a decline. Okay, she, Rebecca now knows if she listened to this back that she missed out. She declined a loyalty card. She just did declined ten percent off everything worldwide. Quick private conversation over here in the kitchen, Andy. How long will we do this for? <laughs> will people that, that aren't, I don't want to speak in front of Jack because I know it'll dis. Yeah, yeah. You know, he gets worried about stuff like this. <laughs> yeah. But how long will we go for the old no pickups? Not long. Sorry about that, Jack. Yeah. We we're just in the kitchen having a chat. Um, let's try another one. Okay, this is Kayla. Hello, Kayla speaking. Kayla, it's oh, Kayla. Hamish, it's Kamish and Andy here. Hey, how are you going? Yeah, great. And guess what? Celebrate good times. You've won. Unless the next person picks up the phone. Kayla, I think that how excited it all. are you? <laughs> I don't know if this is for real. It's for real. You've Kayla, it you... is for real. Kayla, true or false, you applied for a Hamish and Andy loyalty card, but after the 29900 drive away cutoff. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> You've won yourself one out of the lottery. At the moment, you are staring down the barrel of one of the last 100 loyalty cards, unless, <laughs> unless for reasons yep. that we can only put down to... Because we thought it'd be fun and it adds an element of jeopardy. Yes, we have introduced whoever picked up their phone first gets the card, unless the very next person we call picks up their phone and then they will have oh, stolen no. it from you. Yeah, there's a steal element. You Did I it. steal it from someone else? No, no. You oh, at dead. the moment are the king, and we will see if the thieves <laughs> steal your card. Are you ready? Right. Are you ready? Yeah, I think so. Okay, Jack, who are you calling? <laughs> this is Chris. Good luck, Chris Kayla. could steal. Kayla at the moment in full possession of card 29901. <laughs> yep. Hi, this is Gabby. Please leave nah. me. No, Chris, let's debate anyway. <laughs> you've got it, Kayla. You've got it. You've won. <laughs> oh, my God. So <laughs> it's all yours. You've got loyalty card number 29901. And look forward to what is 10% off every store worldwide. You're going to have an absolute ball with that, Kayla. Enjoy, enjoy. Awesome. Drinks are on you. Um, good on you, mate. Well done. Thanks, guys. Bye. See you. Bye. Oh, tough break for Chris.